What's going on, everybody? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. <laughs> Did I get that right? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Enjoyed the holidays. They're over now. They're behind us. I packed up all the all the Christmas stuff. Wife and I took it all down. It's time to move on. Holidays are over. Next. <laughs> what are we doing next? <laughs> oh, looking forward to this. I've been thinking about this ever since we ended the stream on Friday. I've been thinking about I've been thinking about this world, this hardcore world that we're playing in. Been trying to figure out what's what we're going to do next. Still sick. Yeah, every morning, every morning I have coughs. I have all sorts of congestion and it takes a while to work its way out. I've been up for a couple hours. Still wasn't enough. You can still hear it in my voice. It's all it's all in here, you know? <laughs> uh, we'll be all right though. It'll go away eventually. It's just a little nuisance. It's nothing it's nothing that's dragging me down too much. So I'm fine with it. Well, you know, blow the nose a few times, stuff like that. We're fine. Glad you guys could make it though. You expected a card's hat today? I mean, look at I, my hair's looking good though. You think I'm gonna put a card cardinal's hat on over this hair when it's looking this good? Look at all the work I had to go through. You know how much putty it takes to make my hair do this? <laughs> I know. I feel like I haven't streamed all year. Jeez. <laughs> no, but uh, my my cardinals actually finally won a game. That was nice to see, and it was against a decent team. Well, they think they're decent. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they're a good team. They're a good team, and we uh. We had a good win yesterday against the, the America's America's team. The Cowboys. I hate that. Cowboys. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Danny. 2507 with the $5 kid. You dig it. They're going off today. That's good. Say hey, Impulse. Happy New Year. Hope uh, you have a lovely one. Thank you so much, Danny. You too. I hope uh, I hope this year is... I, I know this year is going to be good. Oh my gosh, your Ravens are killing me with that loss. They couldn't just hold on and beat the Rams yesterday. Also, for the record, at the beginning of the football season, I predicted the Rams were gonna go 10 and seven and them losing yesterday to the Rams, which would have helped my team out, made that so it's not gonna happen. Now the best they can do is nine and eight. So they blew my prediction. They blew it. The Ravens couldn't hold on. Seriously, come on. One defensive stand away. I was watching that game. I was watching all the games yesterday. I I, I like the uh, I like American football, NFL football. I, sorry, maybe a little bit sick when I look younger and healthier than six months ago. Wow. Thank you. Must be the uh, must be the hair. <laughs> Thanks for the hype train. We got the glow. We're glowing. We're glowing. We're rocking. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Holly Hooligan, thanks for the 13 months. Squatting Dolphin, thanks for the three months. Maybe Crazy, thanks for the 300 bits. Lord Zizo, thanks for the tier one. Izamish, thanks for the gift sub it out to Decisive. Appreciate that. Grilled SMF, back in the house. 2022 bits. Very festive of you, Grilled. Thank you. Happy New Year. Here's to an amazing 2022. Thank you so much. See you too. Um, looking forward to this one. I mean, I get to, I get to create content full time. I'm gonna have my own like studio to do this in. It's oh. they're coming tomorrow. They're going to put the plumbing in tomorrow. So they gotta they gotta you know trench out all the lines and connect all the plumbing to the water lines and the sewer lines and all that stuff. Um, so they're doing work on the on the. We, we, it's a guest house, but it's it's really my office, uh, my studio. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. It's gonna still gonna take like four months probably, but <laughs> I can't wait. Super excited for it. Tales of Emily, thanks for the six months. Thomas Dev, thanks for the four months. You mom, thanks for the 11 months. B Peters, thanks for the two months. Captain Cook, thanks for the three months. Zealous Chaos, thanks for the 145 bits. You're British, you don't know really what's going on in American football, but you enjoy watching it. Yeah, there's a lot of rules, right? American football is hard to follow if you're new because there's so many rules. I mean, like I've been watching football for decades and there's still some times when I'm like, wait, what's the rule on that? Like. Is yeah? Is it okay if if is it it's still a catch if he pins the ball against the other guy's helmet? You know, like stuff like that <laughs> it still happens to this day. So there's so many rules. Binary orbit. Thanks for the two months. Donna Marie. Thanks for the hundred bits. Uh, Jaded drummer. Thank you so much. Oh, Jedi drummer. 
Jeez. Hello. Good morning. Jedi Drummer, thanks for the 100 bits. Been gone for a few weeks. Glad to be back. I'm glad to have you back. Welcome back. Don't know where you were, but uh, welcome back. I had, a, I had a good Christmas. I got sick during it, and I'm still working my way through the sickness, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm still here. I only missed a few streams. SJC, thank you for the eight months. Thundercloud, thanks for the prime. Raiders, thank you for the five months. Hoy Ticker, is that how you say it? Hoy TKR, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Derby20, thanks for the 100 bits. TK Girl, thanks for the 500 bits. So, <clears throat> one thing uh, one thing that started becoming a tradition in my family is around New Year's Eve or so, uh, around New Year's time, we, we, we get back into the Harry Potter series. And so, um, we started late. Like, we remembered late on New Year's Eve. And so we only watched like, I think the, the first three is all we had time for. And then New Year's Day, we watched the next three. And then last night, because of football, we only had time for one. So we're like <clears throat> one movie away from finishing it out. So <clears throat> I got I got into the I got into the the Harry Potter spirit and I've added some stuff so I can press this stuff during stream. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> we got some new Harry Potter. <laughs> you know, if I do something, if I do something bad, you know. What an idiot! <laughs> uh, I we are working our way to see the Return to Hogwarts. Uh, I know it's on HBO Max now, so we're gonna finish out the series and then we're gonna watch that, right? <laughs> so, all right, let's play. Let's play. I know uh, we still got some amazing stuff going off. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you. Um, actually, uh, well, please just breathe. Thank you so much for the 21 months and the squirrel. Thanks for the six months. I need to log in. The yellow is, this is like a high indication of hype trains going on, right? We're hyping, we're, we're glowing. There's a hype train going on. Every time you hear that beep, that means a hype train leveled up. Um, the one up thing. The reunion made you cry. Oh man. Okay. Exciting. All right. Um, I'm going to hit record because <clears throat> we are recording this for YouTube. We got a hardcore world we started on Friday. I'm jumping into it. And um, yeah, we'll just make some progress. Let's just play some Minecraft. This is kind of like a fun, just casual, you know, it's hardcore. So it's not that casual, but uh, let's let's hang out and and uh, not try not die. I don't even know. This should have paused the time. So I shouldn't have to worry about like logging in at nighttime with creepers around me, I hope. Oh man. And it should be day, well, it'll say day 15, but it's really day 16. Because it was a zero base thing. So, anyway. Let me, uh... We'll wait till the hype train ends, and then I'm going to have to record, like, a intro. Holy smokes. Jeez. What is going on? Uh, okay. It is... The sun kind of just is rising on day 15. But I, I think I still will pause here. That does pause the game, right? And uh, yeah, I'm not sure when the video is going to be up. I, I got it off to the uh, I got it off to the Puka, who's my editor. He's going to edit it for me. Um, and I don't know what his time frame is looking like. So he could be working on it right now for all I know. I don't know. Um, hopefully, hopefully this week, you know, hopefully within a few days. We'll see. I'm not going to put too much pressure on him. I know the, the guy's super busy. So uh, just whenever he gets done with it. And hopefully we'll get like a rhythm going to where I kind of understand like, oh, it's every, you know, it's three days after four days after the stream. You can kind of expect it. There was a Naked and Scared that came out this morning, though. So, at least there's some content going out. <sighs> you guys are amazing. Did you just extend the hype train? Oh, when it levels up, it extends it. Oh, I see. Like, I never pay attention to them. They're amazing. Flying Finger, thanks for the 100 bits. S. Dracoven, thanks for the 500 bits. Outlaw, Star, thank you for the three months. Mmm. I'm still drinking my coffee. Maybe I need to get more caffeinated before we jump into this too much. <laughs> that way I can, uh, you know. Got to have your wits about you. <laughs> I need the I need the coffee to have my wits about me, right? <clears throat> Do I like playing with shaders? Uh, no, I like keeping it vanilla. Maybe someday I'll get into shaders, but I'm not too much into them. I, I use like the internal shaders for Optifine, but I keep it pretty pretty standard vanilla. Hey, Fish, thank you so much for the three months. Thanks for being you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, that's one thing I was trying to do with this series, is be a little more authentic. Yeah, I got Optifine running. The rank. 10 gifted sub bomb. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Super kind of you, my friend. If you get gifted a sub, make sure you guys say thank you. Last data, thanks for the eight months. Deepovic. Uh, I nailed your name. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> D. Pavlich. <laughs> thanks for the sub. Avocado Hippie, thanks for 300 bits. Concord, thanks for the 1500 bits. Lamander, thanks for the prime. Comma Dust, uh, Comma Dust Fire, thanks for the five months. Mozabop, thanks for the 100 biddies. Happy New Year to you. G of the F. Is that a bad word? Uh, 900 bits. Thank you so much. Pause there. You guys got the hype train rolling. Let's see what we're doing. <laughs> you love the quotes. Awesome. All right. Uh, all right. We're smelting all the stone. Right. Before we get into the uh, the like recording part of this episode too much, I'll just uh, I'm gonna just do a, some you know some maintenance around here real quick. Let's make sure that uh, we don't have too much craziness going on. We'll do a little bit of maintenance around here, and uh, I gotta wait for the hype train to finish rolling through because otherwise the video is gonna have all the beeps and stuff going off. I haven't figured out a way to like separate that from the clean recording that we have going on. Not that I don't appreciate the hype train. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, gives us a chance here to settle in, right? Right? We gotta. It's it's hardcore. So as as Filch said, we gotta have our wits about us. <laughs> yeah, I geeked out. I geeked out on on Harry Potter big time. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you can place a chest in a boat now. Oh, did they ever give us bundles? In 118, because somebody was like, oh, your inventory is so bad, you should put use bundles. How about clearing the big tree? They didn't give us bundles? <laughs> what What would you say you do here? Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Only by commands. Oi, 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 oi. Will I watch the, the Harry Potter anniversary? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we'll we we'll finish watching. Uh, we got one movie left we're going to watch tonight. <clears throat> we wanted to watch it last night, but it got too late. We were watching... Uh, we were watching football. Skizzle Man and, uh, and his wife came over. And we were watching football. My next door neighbor came over as well. We always uh, watch the, the Cardinals together. And so, uh, things went a little late there. Didn't have a chance to, to finish all the movies. My kids go back to school tomorrow. So that's a thing. Like, life is, is going to go back to, to normal. Because right now, everybody's, like, sleeping in and stuff. And it's like... <laughs> I'm the only one that's, like, keeping to some sort of, like, schedule right now. Where it's like, I have to get up and make sure I'm ready to rock for the streams. <laughs> you don't have to go back to the 18th? Wow. Nice little break for you then. School semester starts early. Uh yeah, they um they go to it's it's like a almost year-round school. Like they still get a they still get a summer like couple months off, but their schedule is 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 closer to like a year-round type of schedule, so they don't get a lot of breaks. Well, they get they get a lot of breaks, just not super long ones, I should say. Like they get a fall and a winter and a spring break, and a summer break, of course, that's semi long. <clears throat> Province in Canada delayed the opening till the tenth. Yeah, I heard some colleges in in America are doing that too, because um, they're you know makes sense. Worried about. How many people were hanging out with people and getting COVID and stuff during the holidays and give it time to uh, to kind of roll through just in case. Makes sense. You were going back today, but you got COVID? Uh-oh. Jeez. Yeah, I guess the... Uh, I thought I want to get into the talk too much, but new variant seems to be spreading pretty fast. Crazy. At least I heard it's not as bad for most people, so that's good. 
<clears throat> yeah, a lot of people getting it. It's crazy town. Crazy town. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. Looks like the hype train ended. I, just, oh, I, I get I, We got talking and I missed the end of the hype train. Bummer. Um, but do, do, do. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much. Let me do this. Let me pause it. That does pause the game, right? <laughs> Dadimus Maximus, thank you so much for the 25 months. NJ Coffee Junkie, thanks for the 28 uh, months. Happy New Year to you too, NJ. Thank you so much. Uh, Jack Chuck, thanks for the 17 months. Penguins, thanks for the four months. Woke, thanks for the 13 months. Uh, Lapita Diax, thanks for the prime sub. The Arsenal, thanks for the eight months. Haza, 21, thanks for the prime. Uh, Rick Yua, 42, thanks for the prime. Opik, 98, thanks for the three months strong. And Big Ratty, thanks for the 23 months. One month away from the two-year anniversary. That's amazing. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> Not as bad if you're vaccinated. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm recording. Sorry, Puka. We're eight minutes in and, and haven't done it yet, but let's get into, uh, I, I gotta at least do an intro kind of thing so that when, when we do make a video out of this, like, it's not just like this cold open, right? So we'll do that now. Uh, I'm recording this like in a clean view, so don't worry. And welcome back to Hardcore here in Minecraft 1.18. We've made it, peeps. We are past day 15. We've made it 15 whole days and um, we're doing okay. We are, we're getting set up. I'm getting some gear. I've got full armor and we're starting to build out the platform here of where we're gonna settle down. This is gonna be our base, as you guys saw last episode, and I'm still just smelting things up. We've got a lot of work to do. Today, I think what I wanna focus on, if I can, is the basics, right? Getting, making sure I have some food, making sure we have some good gear, like even better gear, maybe? Like, cause right now it's all just iron, not enchanted. It'd be nice to get some more diamonds as well. <laughs> we found two. But I might have to actually do some branch mining. Um, that should be fun. Considering we stream this live, every minute of this hardcore world is being streamed. I'm sure we're going to have some fun with the chat as I'm going down to the bottom of the world in branch mining. Because to my knowledge, in 118, the diamonds now are apparently at the very, very bottom of the world. Like, whatever negative coordinate it is these days. I don't even know. 118 is like brand new to me. So I'm going to be learning this stuff as I go. But we got to go very far down. And I think in order to do that, I do need to make sure I have enough food for this journey. And iron is probably needed. A little more iron if I can find it. Hopefully we'll find some along the way. But today's all about gearing up. So let's get started. All right. So I went YouTuber mode there, I know. For the intro, I think it's okay to be slightly YouTuber mode, but I tried to tone it down. I don't know if you caught that. I tried to tone it down a little bit. Not super animated. I'm trying to, I'm going to, I'm trying to find my way. Okay. We talked about this last stream. I'm trying to find my way. Like it definitely was getting to the point to where I was just putting all this pressure on myself. And we talked about this last stream. I was putting all this pressure on myself to be super animated, super voice inflection, super, you know what I mean? And it was coming out a little unnatural. And I was talking like Micro Machines Man super fast. And uh, I would get like anxiety about it and working up sweats and stuff. So I'm trying to find my way. I'm trying to just throttle it back down until I get to a point to where I'm just comfortable. And for intros too, I think we do need to have a little bit, a little bit more animated in the intros, you know, because we got to grab the attention of the viewers off the bat. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, that's that's one of the things I really want to uh, to do over the the course of this series is is uh, relearn my my style, if you will, or or, or just kind of like settle into something that I'm feeling comfortable with. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'll do that. I think I still need to stick with the stone axe. I like how I made it one way and then made it the other way. That had to, that probably triggered somebody. I am the caffeinated animated redstone innovator, but like, doesn't mean I need to like be micro machines man when I'm recording. Right? <laughs> uh, we'll cut down these big trees. So as you kind of heard, today is a bit of a bit. Of, it's going to be a bit of everything. I mean, we've got a few hours ahead of us, right? To just kind of hang out and, and gear up but honestly like my goal for today would be to get 
to uh, get some diamond armor. Maybe not a full suit, but I'd love to have some diamond armor by the end of today. So that means we may be we may be digging in our, you know, setting up a branch mine. Where are the branches here? Are there no more branches in this big tree? That's weird. Uh oh, nighttime. Nighttime's upon us. Do I know when Hermitcraft season nine starts? Yeah, I do. I gotta be careful. Oh, whoo, whoo! We 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 should make another bed. <laughs> I noticed it was getting nighttime a little too late. I need to uh, I need to do some torch spam or something. Uh, we need to definitely secure this area a little bit more. That that one got a little intense. I was I was afraid I was gonna have a creeper raining down on my head <laughs> as I woke up in the morning. That wouldn't have been good. Um, I'm, I'm really starting to enjoy, not starting to, I mean, I've been enjoying this world, but I'm really starting to get that feeling of attachment to this world. Like I'm, I'm coming up with ideas and plans and things I want to do. And the more I think of, you know, the more I get attached to this world and the idea of losing it is, uh, is, is pretty frightening. So, but one thing, and I'm going to give, I'm going to give Pearlescent Moon a ton of credit here. Um, because it was something that that she had kind of said, you know, offline to to me and a few other people was that uh, one of the reasons she really likes her playing hardcore is because it gives her a chance to just live in the moment. And uh, and just, you know, knowing that this journey could end at any moment, right? It teaches you to appreciate the current moment more because you know it could end and it probably will end at some point right it's hardcore right so live in the moment appreciate the world as we make it and not worry so much about what could be right because this is a problem i have in in real life too is sometimes i get preoccupied imagining worst case scenarios um I'm, I'm betting I'm not alone, <laughs> um, but I, I get caught up in imagining worst case scenarios for situations and events that haven't happened and trying to figure out, oh, if so and so gets mad at me for this or whatever, uh, how am I going to diffuse it? How am I going to react? How am I going to, you know, what's what am I going to do if if the world <laughs> explodes you know like you start to get into these what if scenarios of of these doom and gloom situations and you start to try to prepare yourself mentally for it and you're fixating on all this negative stuff that for the most part never happens right like i've wasted so much of my life worried about worst case scenarios and how i'm going to react to them when in reality those rarely happen and when they do it's it's great that i've kind of like prepared myself mentally for them so i'm ready but like the amount of wasted time that i've spent worrying about the other 90 percent that never happens and it's probably more than 90 percent to be honest um is just a waste of headspace right so that's one thing that I'm I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to do a little differently, you know, not a, not necessarily a New Year's resolution or anything like that, but something I want to think about, something I want to be more cognizant of is is how how do I, where am I at with with in my brain with worrying about things that probably won't happen? Am I am I wasting cycles on it? So there it is. Uh, did I just see Music Man drop five gifted subs? What are you doing, dude? Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. How you doing? Hope you uh, had good New Year's. We were just getting... Somehow we got... We started getting deep. Somehow you rolled in and we started getting in deep, deep combos. Wasn't, uh... Wasn't planning it, you know? Sometimes it just happens on stream. As we get, uh... As I'm, you know, cutting down trees doesn't better to do, but... <laughs> start getting deep. I appreciate that, my friend. Hope you're doing well. I'm at the point. I'm still eating. I'm still eating apples to survive, apparently. We're taking this world a little slow. I know we're taking it slow. 
but it's good. We're gonna get things are gonna things are gonna get rolling. <laughs> I, I did. It wasn't a scheduled deep end combo. No. All right. No mobs chilling up on these things. I want to finish out this platform because it's still it's still terrifying. And I want to tear down I want to tear down these bits as well. Once the platform is down, I think I'm going to drop some water so that if something happens and I do end up whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Watch your back. Watch where you're going. That's hardcore. Luckily, I'm holding shift, so nothing too bad was going to happen there, but jeez. That's just I mean, we, we we want to enjoy the moments, but we still do want to make sure we're not going to set ourselves up to to die unnecessarily either. Jeez. Scariness. So me worry too much about possible situations. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of times it's just a waste. It's a waste of negative headspace, right? I find myself like you start thinking about it, right? Like you start worrying about some sort of imaginary fight that you're going to get in with somebody, you know, and then it's like, and then you start getting angry. You start actually imagining the things that they would say to you, right? And you, and you start to get amped up, right? You start to get all this negative vibes going. And then like, and then the, and then the actual conversation happens that you're, you were worried about and it's fine. Like. Nobody's nobody's upset. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> it didn't go south. They didn't say these really nasty things to you, but instead you just like set yourself off because you're you're imagining it just so that what? So that if they do, you have a comeback ready to go. Like is it even worth it? Let's not do that. Let's try not to do that. Let's try to not worry about what could happen and just live Let's just live. There's no room to worry. There's, we don't have time to worry about stuff. <laughs> the rank, thanks so much for those five gifted subs. I'm falling behind on stuff already. Rosen Godkos, thank you so much. Appreciate that resub. Owen Meadmaker, thanks for the 17 months. Shiny Vanguard, thanks for the prime. Tiny Nugget, thanks for the prime. Music Man, thanks again, dude. Appreciate that. Jim Clazer. Thanks for the two months. Jake Hells, 11 months. Glimmer Girl, 15 months. Glimmer Girl with the five gifted subs. Oh my goodness. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, this is it. I mean, this is crazy town. This is this is the year where this is what I do, right? Like, like this is this is my job now. Um, I do have a few more days I have to work my uh, my other job just to finish out some things. But uh, aside from that, this is it. This is what I do. And you guys are just allowing me to do so by being so amazing. So thank you. Uh, even if you're just here, just here watching, you don't have to worry about donating or subscribing or any of that. It still helps. It still helps. So I appreciate it. All right. Where should I, I, I'm scouting right now? Basically, I know it looks like I'm just wandering, <laughs> running around in circles and we're chatting about nothing. Um, I'm, I'm trying to scout a little bit because if we're going to branch mine, which we need to do soon. It feels like, I mean, we've got a good start, right? Like we, we, we can get down. I want that iron so bad. It's in a bad spot. We've got a way down. That's already kind of given to us to where we don't have to dig as much, but also, also there's sadness in there. Uh, and that's scary. So. I'm also thinking like maybe we do just dig a stairway anyway, even though that's given to us and just go off in a different direction. So we've kind of got this stairway off to the village. What if straight across from it, if we go this direction and I need this cobble anyway for the platform, is it raining again? Oh, somebody told me in 118, like rain is a is a problem. They've they've like changed the way the rain reset happens. And now, unless you sleep while it's raining, which you can only do when it's actually, you know, nighttime, which now it's going to be hard to tell when that actually is. Um, the rain just it just rains. Yeah, it'll just keep going. It'll just keep raining. It rains all this time. It doesn't reset at night. I mean, 
What? How? How? How do we? How do we make the game worse? You know? Oops. What? What would you say? They get one of those. You do here. They get one of those. Oh, how did the cow get outside? Okay, well, guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna name you Houdini. Just kidding, your dinner. <laughs> okay, that, that, was a, that felt a little wrong. Is it nighttime? Ah, oh, I can't tell. We gotta get the clock, yeah. Oh, it is nighttime, okay. All right, so hopefully this resets the rain because it's been raining a lot. There we go. So at least the rain's dead now. No rain. Bye, rain. Who dinner? <laughs> Your name is Who Dinner. <laughs> oh. Okay. And we don't. We still don't have like the food situation is is pretty pretty rough. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just make like a crop farm. Let's do that. Let's go to the village. Let's grab some. What do we have? I've been I've been working on the cows thing, but this is taking too long. Do we have any potatoes or carrots or anything here? I'm eating apples for for survival. That's where we're at. Um, let's go up into the village. Because, yeah, the, the cow farm's not going to get us by. It's time. It's time. We got to upgrade our situation here. Our living situation is not great. I just realized, like, if I'm not careful we could have mob spawning luckily i've been sleeping through every night pretty much like a champ so we're good the golems here <laughs> there's so many i i am so scared about these golems that i'm gonna accidentally hit one but there's there's two right there do we still have some down here okay no so maybe the village only does have two golems all right free carrots i mean i'll probably just stick with the carrot diet to be honest would be nice if we get some gold, like a, a steady supply of gold. Because carrots actually aren't that great, are they? Just steal it all. Feel a little bad, but I feel like we should just steal it all. There's more down there. They might have. Eh, it's just more carrots. Hmm. I kind of want to make the farm close to me, otherwise, I won't use it. Alright, we'll give them back some carrots. Maybe we will just eat carrots. It would be nice to make a gold farm, but that seems like it's it's going to be a scary task to do. All right, this should be enough to get us. Yeah, this is enough to get us started. We got our water bucket. I'll go make a hoe and stuff. Okay, let's just go make our little our, our own little farm down there close to us. Whoop. I think I should put some fences around this like outside bit. What was that splash? <laughs> Gold carrots, golden carrots are typically my food of choice because they have so much saturation. You don't find yourself eating too often. I don't know if that's because like from a content creator perspective, you know, you, eating during a clip is, is kind of like, I don't know, feels bad to me. So I try to eat foods that have the higher saturation so you don't eat as often. And uh, as far as I know, carrots are, are kind of like they fit the bill for that really well. Might as well just make our... I'll take down these trees. We'll make our farm right next to the cows. You like potatoes because you can cook them? Yeah, potatoes actually would be nice. I think I left some. Um, oh, yeah, we could trade. Yeah, we could trade for the golden carrots. All right, well, we'll, we'll live off of regular carrots for now until we get some trading going on. You guys know me. I will be doing the villager trading. Hey, let's get that XP that's just chilling in there, yeah? You know me. I'll be doing some villager trading. Um... Depending on how well things go today, we might start to get into some villager trading stuff. Today, maybe. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Keep smelting all this stuff and then I don't have anything for tools. I'm hoping on my way down we find iron. Iron now, hang on, I have a thing. I know I know how this works. Um, iron is prevalent now at layer ooh, 16. Is the biggest layer for that, but it could start as, as as low as like 50, it looks like. So the biggest iron distribution is around 16. So as we dig down, we're gonna have a chance for some more iron. Apparently, there's like iron veins too. Yeah, if we hit one of those, it's like jackpot, baby. We're good. 
right? I'm looking forward to seeing one of these iron veins. Hopefully we catch one on the way down. But I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna dig this out so we have kind of like our stairway down. And then as we're digging down, hopefully we find some stuff. And hopefully it doesn't just like drop out and <laughs> drop out from under us. Gem found an iron vein. Very cool. Uh, I'm excited. Hopefully we find one. Not that. I could have sworn we made a hoe. No? I thought we made a hoe at some point. You can stop at each optimal ore level. Yeah, that's a good idea. On the way down. Let's get all this stuff. All these goodies just floating around. On the way down, we can stop at, at each level and kind of like make our own little branch mine. Right? So like we know 16 is good for iron. 45 is good for uh, copper. Negative 16 is good for gold. And the, the, the diamond distribution is just the lower the better. Starting at like 16 and going down to, to negative 64, the lower the better is what I'm seeing anyway. Um, I didn't like watching any YouTube videos. This is just based off of an ore distribution chart that I think, uh, I think Mojang themselves published this chart. I'm going off of that. So if it's from the developers, then I'm assuming it's correct. Would be nice to waterlog a half slab or something here, so I don't have to worry about that water block. And then we can actually put some light in the middle of that too, I suppose. That'd be good. Look at us, we're farming. This is old school Minecraft. I love it. I mean, it's not old school Minecraft. It's still just Minecraft, but it feels old school because it's been a long time since I've just farmed like this, like normal, I guess. Normal or normal farmers now. This is early days Minecraft. Day 16, right? We're on day 16? Or did it go to day 17? No, we're on day 17. Oh, I should have stole more carrots. Diamonds equal Y negative 54. Uh, so the diamond distribution chart it, it it has it has this triangle that goes like like this like down so the further down you go the more distribution of diamonds there are and it keeps expanding all the way until negative 64 which means the lower the better for diamonds there's there's no i like like if you want to say oh the best layer for diamonds is what well, would be negative 64 except that's probably all bedrock but the distribution there so yeah, as low as you can get, as low as you can get before you start hitting. So if you want to stay above lava, then it's negative 54. If you want to fight for the bigger distribution, you'd have to fight the lava, right? But the distribution chart says the lower the better. So yeah, now you're now you're looking at where's the lava lakes, where's the where's bedrock, all that stuff. So the new meta is 58 to stay at the lava lake level. Deep slate makes it so tough. I'm seeing a lot of negative 58s. No walking into lava pits. Is it 58 or 54? I'm seeing I'm seeing people not agreeing. There's a disagreement <laughs> in chat. Fifty-eight is the best. Are we just regurgitating somebody what somebody said, or is it off of experience? Diamonds are at Y negative fifty-eight. You find lava pits at negative fifty-four. Okay. Well, we'll try it out. Negative fifty-eight. Per Azuma and Mojang. Yeah, according to the chart, the lower the better. But if if you know, obviously, there's also the. Uh, how hard is it to to mine <laughs> if you're running into lava lakes and stuff, right? If you find the surface of lava lakes and you're walking on on, on the surface and you just drop in water and turn it into obsidian, like that's the way to go. Like that was why uh, negative 11 was so good. Let's 
Is it still going to be waterlogged when I put this in here? Should be, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we'll have some light. Not that, not that we're going to let it not be day. Uh, I should have alternated the crops, actually, shouldn't I? Do I have enough seeds? We could alternate between carrots and wheat, make it grow a little faster. Since we're since we're all Minecraft pros here, you guys already knew that, right? We're gonna take these back out. We'll go wheat. So to go carrot, wheat, carrot, wheat. Carrot. Wheat. That's all we have. Okay. Yeah, alternating makes it alternating the rows makes it makes it grow faster. So when you do that, that'll that'll grow. I don't know how much faster, but it's faster. Water filled caves are the best for diamonds because they don't count as air exposure. Yeah, that's the thing, right? With diamonds, it was like um, when there's air exposure, it and when an ore block is about to be placed, it checks. And if there's air, there's a chance that it's going to skip making the making the diamond ore. So, yeah. Set up a test. I mean, we could test it, but I know this to be true. Unless, of course, they change it. There's always that. There's always that. Unless, of course, they change the way crops grow. Because sometimes they change things just for the sake of changing things, it seems. I'm going to keep smattering. That's the word. Smattering the trees around. Is that a word? <laughs> this is our, this is our, we're going to create our own little forest here. It's, it's ugly and I love it. We're going to make a mob farm because the trees are going to have so much shade. I guess I didn't think of that. Um, all right, let's breed these guys again. It's probably about time. I mean, it's probably about time I can I can do some coaling. Some coaling of the pack here. Have any, everyone? Everyone good? We all good? Good, good, good. Getting out. <laughs> word of the day. <laughs> this is the word of the day. Smattering. If you use a checker pattern for your farm, it's more effective. I don't think so. No, I I think uh, I think that's wrong. I I think this is the way to go right here, alternating rows. I mean, I'll keep an open mind. You can you can try to prove me wrong if you got some science behind it, but from what I know, just alternating rows is the best way to do it. Ah, maybe you're thinking of melon and pumpkins. Yeah, that could be the case. Uh, shovel? I really need iron. Like, <laughs> I told Skizzleman yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I told Skizzleman, I'm like, I'm like, in this hardcore world, is it bad that I'm already, like, thinking about making an iron farm? We're only, like, 17 days in, and I'm already thinking, should we make an iron farm straight off the bat? Because I'm, like, already short on iron. What's the mod for light level? Um, Mini HUD was the mod I was using. I'm not using that this time around. I don't know if I will. I haven't I haven't put too much thought into whether or not I wanted to bring on any kind of client side mods for this world. I've been I've been kind of digging the fact that it's it's pretty vanilla. I mean, aside from Optifine, and that's the the main reason I'm doing Optifine is just so that we have the internal shaders on, which gives a little bit more uh, contrast and brightness to the game. And that's just to kind of make the videos look a little bit better. It's not for me. It's not to like enhance my gameplay at all content creator type of decision, you know? Just make a very simple single-celled iron farm. I have this crazy idea. I have an idea for an iron farm. And I think I want to do it here. I think I want to do it in this world. Um, I need to design it first. I need to spend some time in creative and design it. This is one thing I like about having different play styles like playing in hardcore playing a fresh world and and starting to think about like needs 
because I'm thinking about all the different things I actually need in this world. And now I'm starting to get ideas on how I can do them differently than I've done in the past. And uh, I've got some fun ideas that I want to work out, like kind of go back to some of the inventor in me, you know, the redstone innovator in me and, and come up with some new farms. So, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, whew. that was like our first real danger. Five villagers, five beds, no zombie, quick iron farm. Yeah, we could go. We could go for just a super, super easy iron farm, right? No danger. Just give us it. And even if it's just a, a smattering word of the day, smattering of iron. <laughs> well, then we're good. Hey, speaking of iron, it's exactly what we needed. Please be an iron vein. I doubt it. I think we're too, we're too high up probably in the world for, for some sort of crazy iron vein. But it is still going. That might be it. Let's just check around it real quick. I think that was it. No vein for that one. I almost, I almost patched that back up with like really nice stone. That would have been so wasteful. We can just do that. Doc M's design is still the winner. I no. What? <laughs> it can't be because his design is based on doors and that hasn't been a thing since like 1.14 or something like that. Doc M's design doesn't work anymore. Are you trolling? Let's build an iron trench. Let's do that. <laughs> That's the goal. We're building the iron trench. <laughs> Let's see how well that performs. Oh gosh. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. It's nighttime peeps. Isn't it? Is it nighttime? Or it's just raining. Okay, okay, it's just raining. Again, raining again. Wow. I need to, um, yeah, let me smelt this iron. I'm actually gonna make shears. I know it sounds weird, but I'm making shears. I got that one sheep. <laughs> I'm going to make another bed. I want I want a bed. I mean, there's no reason to just leave that bed there, is there? I could just always carry it on me. Yeah. I was going to make another bed, but I guess there's no reason. Although it's kind of nice to not have to plop it down every five seconds to see if it's nighttime or not. I need redstone. I'm definitely keeping a clock on me. Who would have thunk it? You need a clock so bad. But it's like always raining here. I think they should fix that. This this idea that your world is just like always raining. It's like, come on now. I didn't put in Seattle as a seed. I shouldn't have to have rain constantly. <laughs> what would Ip and Skiz do? Uh, I'm going to keep going with the iron pickaxes. I love them. I don't know what time of day it is, and it's making me super nervous. I guess if I'm down in the mines, it doesn't matter. I'll just sleep before I come out, but I could come out and just have a ton of mobs waiting for me. Usually you can kind of see where the sun is, right? See, look at that wheat already, like almost fully grown, or that one is. Hmm. <laughs> When's the last time I needed an official B-dubs clock? I know, right? Crazy. All right, let's get rid of some of this. Ooh, where'd that seed come from? That can go wheat, right? Wheat, carrot, wheat. You could craft a clock, you know. Yeah, you need redstone. Am I? Wait, oh, I haven't unlocked it. I haven't unlocked the recipe. It's redstone and in in in, uh, in gold. I have the gold. I don't have the redstone. 
You may want to dig straight down for safety. Long way. Uh, it's a long way down in this update. Uh, yeah, I guess so, but I want to be able to go up and down pretty quick. Stairs will be fast. Redstone and compass. Wait, is it iron? No, it's gold and redstone. Uh, ladders. I don't know why. I just really like the idea of stairs. I mean, I'll put in the actual stair blocks. I don't know what time of day it is. <laughs> How long ago did we do day 18? I'm taking the bed and we're just going to go and then I'll sleep before I come up. And then hopefully there's no mobs. This is going to be our first like uh, thing. I can't be down here for too long. Jeez, I'm cruising. Am I going to get hurt? I was flying down those stairs. That was insane. Now I wanna I wanna kinda dig anyway. Um have as much open space as possible so I can see some iron and, and redstone and stuff. I mean digging straight down may be the most efficient way to do it, but I think there's some benefits in doing it this way as well. Don't forget to do the pokey holes, yeah. When we're down at diamond level, sure. What did we decide? 58, right? 58's the new meta for diamonds. Fifty-four. Okay, jeez. There was so much debate. Fifty-four. Fifty-eight. Fifty-four. Everyone, let's fight. Fight, 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 fight. Do it! Just do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man Drac, you're getting outnumbered on this one dude you may be wrong you might be wrong you're getting seriously outnumbered in chat everyone's shouting 58 oh jeez okay here's our first Here's our first view of an open cave. Oh man. Are we going to have a, a mob farm down here? I'm not sure what to expect. Ooh, there's some gold straight away. That's good. I don't want to just drop in on a mob farm, of course. Let's open it up and see what we're dealing with. Now, ooh, some lapis. All right. We're starting to get it at the point to where there's some good stuff around us. Let's open it up a little bit. Uh, I mean, I feel like it's fairly safe. I'm not seeing any mobs, but at the same time, oh, there's some iron in there. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't look like a safe way, a safe thing to do to just drop straight into this. So I got to come up with some kind of strategy here. I need. I need to be able to shoot torches. Like, I want to shoot a torch on the ground. You know what I mean? So that we can light it up ahead of time. <laughs> that would be good. Um, we could drop in. I could drop in in a boat, of course, but then we could be surrounded by mobs. I could drop some water in, which would push any mobs back. Potentially, I think it's just going to go in a straight line. I don't think a water source is going to do much for us. This is scary. This is, this is definitely scary. And the question is... Do we risk it already? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to see. I want to see more of this. I want to get a better idea of what we're dealing with. Yeah, see, there's a skelly right there. There's a skelly right there. We would have dropped in and immediately been assaulted by a skelly. Um, I don't even want to stand on that one block. I'm not sure I can get him if I don't, though. Where'd he go? I think I have to get down to see him. Let's do this. This might be somewhat safe. If we just come in like this. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. There's so much bad stuff that could happen here. There's a zombie there. I mean, that's no big deal. I mean, it's it's not crowded. It's not crowded. It looks like we may be able to get access to some dripstone. 
I think I see some dripstone action back there. That could be good. We could get ourselves a nice fuel source with that. Let's keep going. I might... I might risk this, people. I might risk dropping into this massive cave. That zombie despawned. Let's see where this goes. If we can get rid of that skelly, I'll feel better about dropping in here. This is one of those situations. Got to have your wits about you. <laughs> oh, Optifine, right? That's just an Optifine thing. That's not going to actually help with spawning. But it does help for vis visibility purposes, right? <sighs> Where did that skelly go? Did he despawn? Nope, there he is. Oh, and he has enchanted bow even. Oh. I can't get him from here. Oh, there he goes. Oh, come on. Oh, he's back too far. There we go. We got him. He's dead. Ah, oh, are we are we no risk it no biscuit situation right now? Are we dropping in? Are we doing this? Are we going in hot? I think we are. I think we are. Okay. We got our shield. We're doing it. Let's let's eat. I got my golden apple just in case things go completely sideways. And can I place the boat? Here we go. We're going in. No creeper, no creeper. Oh man. What are we dealing with? What are we dealing with? I mean, it's pretty chill in here. We're good. We're good. Let's pick up the boat though. We could use that if something comes running at us. This is a pretty big cave. I can't believe this. I can't believe there's not more mobs in here. This is insane. Okay, we do need to like know our way up from here. This is the most danger we've been in since we've started. Oh, yep. Oh, there's skellies up there like crazy. They're going to shoot. Oh, glow squid. Nice. <laughs> Let's get excited about glow squid while there's skellies surrounding us. Oh, where'd he go? Did he just despawn? I don't think he did. Skelly's back there. Oh, caving. We're caving now. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, stay back. We're now getting tracked by that zombie. Come on, zombie. I'm excited about this dripstone. I can see us using it. All right, we'll work our way through. Oh, I heard him. There he is. He's just doing a little waterfall action. No big deal. Where's he going down to? I feel like I need to check my... Check my six. We could have a creeper creeping. Yep. 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 That's a creeper creeping. <laughs> That's a creeper creeping. Just a little nervous. Just a little nervous playing hardcore being down here in this crazy cavern. You know. Good thing the bats don't explode. That's a really good thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was pro first gunpowder oh geez I hate the idea of even going in my inventory right now oh we got lichen could collect some lichen while we're here This is so dangerous. Is that moss? That's a good find. Hope I brought enough torches for this. 
I know, probably being a little excessive with the torches since it covers so much ground nowadays, but... Skelly over there. Ooh. Sorry, creeper. Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Oh, okay, we're fine. I'm ready to leave. <laughs> I'm ready to leave the cave. Oh man. Let's uh let's let's at least make a stairway out of here and come back. We will come back. Oh jeez. Okay. I I didn't come prepared like inventory wise, you know? So let's do this. Oh, golden apple. Something's going to shoot us off. I see a spider over there. I don't know if I'm angling this right. We're going for it, though. Day 19. Oh, look at that. We actually, like, didn't sleep through an entire night. That's crazy. I got to watch out for skellies. Could shoot me off this. I see that spider down there. There we go. I don't know how far I can fall without dying here. This could be it, peeps. This could be it. Okay. Whew. That's not safe. None of this is safe. <sighs> All right. We're going back up. I just need to, I just need a minute. I need a minute to calm down. <laughs> We could we could survive a 23 block fall. Okay. That's not that's not bad. I kind of want to make like a safety rail on here as well and then split off and then continue down. But now that we know it's daytime, I'm going to go back up top. Let's grab some more food and stuff. I just heard I hear a skelly in there. Woo! All right. That'll get your blood pumping. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I need a minute. We got to go change our pants. <laughs> I didn't even check to see what height we were at. That was crazy. But yeah, we got too much stuff on us. Not enough food. Let's go fix our stuff. Don't forget your brown pants. <laughs> okay. Just in case it was nighttime, there could be mobs. We're good. We're good. We're doing okay. Super terrifying. Oh, look at the crops. Excellent. Okay. Good. We'll do some uh we'll do some tending to some stuff. It's it's about time I'm going to make another chest, I think. I think it's that time. And we'll start putting like solids in here, stones and stuff. Right? We're a little bit organized, maybe. Woo! Must have been close to zero because of the deep slate. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me take a minute here and pause. <clears throat> let me pause the game uh, and stop recording. So, because it's been about an hour. Let me let me catch up with you guys. Catch my breath. <laughs> Let's catch my breath. <laughs> yeah, let's get excited. Getting crazy. People being amazing too. Holy smokes. Going all the way back. Holy cow. After uh, the Glimmer Girl awesomeness, we had uh, Kahan in the house with the Prime. Wrath of the Frog with the tier one sub. Not that obvious with the six months. Wrath of the Frog, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. 
Appreciate you, my friend. Captain Cribs, thanks for the two months. Legend Bot, two months. White Wolf, thanks for the tier one. Nefarious five months. Saturn Bot, 400 bits. Dragger J, thanks for the four months. Perendo, thanks for the tier one. Or the, or the prime sub. I'm sorry. Whew. Am I not allowed to use F3? What is the, um, what's the pause? F3 something? What is it? Six cauldron lava drip would be awesome. Yeah, we should get some lava going, yeah? F3 and escape? Oh. Game paused. That works. F3 and escape. I thought y'all were trolling me. It was going to crash my game. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Okay. I never play single player, so I know all these things. Intro like Kazine, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Lightning Ozzy. You're amazing. Zvink, thanks for the tier one. Fluff Aloof, thanks for the 100 bitties. Sapphire Blue, thanks for the two months. FX, thanks for the 200 bits. Steaks have the same saturation as Golden Carrots. Farms easy, entity cramming. Uh, just need good wheat farm. Yeah, that's true. I, 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 I The entity cramming uh, cow farm was one of my better videos on YouTube, actually. <laughs> So I know how to do those. Miss Kate, thanks for the prime. Ranimal, thanks for the thousand bits. Xenocroft, thanks for the five months. FN Plague, thanks for the seven months. FX, thanks for another two hundred bits. Uh, when are you guys announcing season nine? Uh, when season nine starts? Like the day the videos come out, probably. I don't know. Maybe there'll be some lead up hype to it. Days before, I don't know. We haven't talked about that. Girl Scout, thanks for the prime. Valana, thanks for the nine months. It's pronounced Noki. <laughs> thanks for the four months. Sheep Caliber, thanks for the three months. Ellis Debris, thanks for the seven months. Appreciate you. Happy uh, New Year to you as well. MC, thanks for the prime. Snappy, thanks for the five. Tito Me Do, 500 bits. Uh, last night I was doing exactly what you're doing right now, except for not hardcore, fell to, me, fell to your death. Came back to get all my stuff, did MLG with a hay bell. Only took half a heart. Didn't even know it would work, but I need to get my stuff before it despawned. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, you're scaring me, Tito, saying that, like, you, you died doing the same thing I just did. That I, I was definitely nervous doing that. Cheeky Rose, thanks for the Prime. Six Blade TV, thanks for the three months. Maybe not, thanks for the two months. Unver Daddy, thanks for the five months. Righty, thanks for the four. Red Winter Roses, thanks for the seven. Lucifus, thanks for the seven. And Sarah Mo, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate y'all. It was pretty reckless. We're fine. Everything's fine. Let's keep going. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm having so much fun with this series. Hope you guys are too. I can't wait to uh, to see it all edited down. Puka's gonna Puka's gonna do some editing for me. We gotta keep doing this, and uh, we're gonna have like a, a really cool, clean version of this on the tubes of you. So obviously, uh, and those are going on my main channel. So if you're not subscribed, uh, we'll do the hashtag plug. Make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel and Pulse SV on YouTube. And um, yeah, if you miss any part of the streams and you want to see the whole thing, of course, we post these on my second channel and Pulse SV too. Uh, yeah, I hit record again. Thank you for the reminder. Just in case one of these days, I will definitely uh, mess up and forget, I'm sure. Before I go in and I start cr facing all these crazy mobs and stuff, I want to make sure I have a good amount of, of steak on me. So we'll keep we'll keep doing this. I think that's that's good. Let's do a little bit of tending to the garden here. Fun Minecraft stuff. We can expand it too, right? Uh, is that something? That's not fully grown, right? No. Thought I placed. Didn't. Okay, and then we can start one more row. And the rest are for me to eat, I suppose. Okay, so we're eating carrots. It's not the best food source. Um, might as well do the seeds as well. Farming in Minecraft, non-automated style. Feels weird to me. <laughs> I want to automate this already. 
But see how fast it's growing? Like the alternating crops, definitely the way to go. Like we we pro pro gamered that. Didn't do a day one grinder. I missed a carrot spot. I uh, must have come back and caught it because I've not seen any. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Okay. Missed a carrot spot. You're still having the diamond debate. Yikers. Okay. Um, okay, so I got food this time. I got my bed. We'll put my shield back. Put that away. Blocks. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Let's not bring all this extra junk. I do usually like bringing some wood with me in case I need to craft some stuff. Okay, a little bit of cleaner inventory this time. I don't think I'll need my axe for anything. I do like bringing, if I could bring some iron too. So we'll bring that in case I need to craft another pickaxe as we go. Okay. A little bit of iron is all we have. I think I'll bring hobbles the block though. Okay. Um, oh, arrows are getting low. Thank you. Let's do that. Bop, bop. And then, yeah, if we can craft some more torches. <clears throat> I need to get those logs burning. We got to get a better fuel source, and that's why I want to get the dripstone. I mean, over a stack of torches probably do us for now. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, and I think I will wall off the side of the stairs. Uh-oh. Uh, there's a pillager raid <laughs> hanging out directly under the platform here. I don't think I want to get involved <laughs> just yet. I saw his flag sticking above <laughs> the blocks. Uh, we're going to go now. All right. It's almost nighttime. We're going to be inside this <laughs> branch by that we're trying to get down to. But um, yeah, not not going to deal with the pillager party just yet. No way. We will, uh, we'll, we'll keep going and see if we can get through here safely. So what's interesting is like right here, there's a cave. Okay. So I can, this is risky, but we could do this, right? Zombie, creeper. There's nobody down this way. There's so much good stuff in here, too. This is scary. This is super, super scary. Oops. I'm wasting blocks because I'm nervous. If we just do this, we're safe, right? Little, little guardrails. Not seeing any mobs close by. Like I know we're I know we're like being maybe overly cautious, but this is hardcore. And I'm really getting attached to this world. I don't want it to go away. Oh no, I didn't bring enough blocks. Alright. I should have grabbed some dripstone last time I was in here, but I was a little a little nervous. By a little, I mean a lot. Okay, at least now we're down far enough that like, we're not gonna die if we get shot off of this. I just hate how open it is. I feel super vulnerable having like this much open space. I'm gonna do this. I think that light will actually light up up there too. Okay. 
Going back in. Going back in. Time to collect some resources. Oh, I heard an Enderman. I heard an Enderman. Oh, man. Don't look in the wrong direction, that's for sure. Oh, I hear Skelly. I think he's up over this corner. Yep, there he is. That looks like a drop off. Nope. Okay, we're good. Woo! Gotta use your ears. <laughs> Gotta use your ears. We'll take those. Let's go down here and actually see. At least this is a little more closed off. I feel a little more protected in these closed off spaces. And we can collect some of this stuff without too much concern. Wow, this is really going down. Okay. Whoa, that's a drop. That's a drop. Finally, getting our hands on some decent amount of iron. Worth the risk here. Oh, some gold as well. Could use that. Very nice. The drop off. <laughs> oh, that movie's so good. Uh, should we get some copper? Let's see. I'm a little afraid of this drop off, though. I'm just going to do that. We'll grab some copper. Why not? And that's why you bring the extra pickaxe. Just need an enderman to come steal the block from under me. That would be... <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. It would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, what heck of a way to go. Okay. Uh, uh, it's not too far down, but I don't think it's worth... I don't think it's worth exploration there. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Enderman Spleef. That would be hilarious. Yeah, we could go down there with water or boat or whatever. There's lots of ways to do it, but um, I'm still, I'm still kind of wanting to just keep like a staircase, but I did want to grab, I wanted to grab, okay. Well, first of all, we're not, we're not passing up iron. Come on now. I want to grab some dripstone. Whoa. Honestly, I'm not like really aware of how dripstone works. Can you grow? Can we grow dripstone on these blocks right here? I think you can, right? Can we make like a dripstone growing farm? Okay. So maybe we just grab a few and make our own little farm. Just grab these blocks. I keep hearing all sorts of weird noises, and I think it's just I think it's just my own steps on these different blocks that I'm not used to hearing. Some iron there. Let's grab that. Again, I'm like out in the open, so I'm I'm trying to like stay a little bit quieter so I can hear mobs and stuff if there are any oh uh-oh uh great that's gonna wash everything down and yeah, it's gonna wash everything down again we're making a waterfall making a mess Great. Let's see what else is in here. We lit it up decently. Not outstanding, though. I feel like there's stuff back here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. There's stuff back there. That's for sure. There's stuff back there. We're going to mark that for later. Maybe, maybe another day. At, wait, oh, do we need, do we need silk touch to grab this? Is, wait, no, that's just grass, isn't it? 
Yeah, I thought that was Moss for a second. No naturally spawning Moss in caves, huh? <laughs> Don't open the inside. And this is how we die. It's hearing some sort of noise. I think it was just from the magma block, maybe? Grab this iron before it goes bye bye. Oh. I heard something. I see you, zombie. Don't do it. Stay back. It can even get up here. Oh, there's a skelly right there. Down the waterfall he goes. Oh, geez. He tried to take a shot. What do you think? You're Katniss? You ain't Katniss. <laughs> I'm a little worried about everything. <laughs> Washed out a bunch of torches over here, too. All right. I'm leaving all that. We're going to keep digging. Woo, excuse me. I almost did a side torch. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We come out here... And then we have a way to, like, get out left and right. But then we just keep digging this way. So if we want to exit, and maybe we'll make it safe, like, put some doors on it or something. So we can exit this area safely. I mean, it won't be safe because I didn't light it up perfectly. Oh, we're dealing with the deep slate now, though. I'm a little worried about everything. Yeah, welcome to hardcore. This is what hardcore mode is. <laughs> oh, man. So, like, if I put doors here and here, and then we have just a wall. So, I got to remember this. And really, this could use, like, a top to it as well. But I got to come back and put stairs in. Whenever you're, like, digging deep slate, doesn't it sound like a creeper scuttling? Like a creeper heading towards you, scuttling towards you. Every time I dig deep slate, I start to look around looking for a creeper. You don't hear it? Scary. All right, what level are we at? We are at level one. <laughs> and we have to go to negative. Oh my gosh. So much digging. Jeez. Yeah, I got a cap. I got to put a cap on it. I don't want to use deep slate, though. I want to save this deep slate. Um, I'm imagining, you know, some deep slate in the front facade to the base. Following caves down is way better. Yeah, but this way we're going to have a nice, straight, easy path, like, that we can put stairs in and stuff, too. So I think it's going to be worth the, the little bit of effort. And we get some we get some blocks out of the deal. And some iron. Imagine making a perimeter for mob farms now. Oh my gosh, that's true. Yeah. Getting rid of all the blocks down to bedrock is gonna be such a chore now. Oh man. Are people still gonna do it? Probably. Psycraft will still do it. Is this an ore vein? Did we discover an ore vein? Let's find out. Let's keep following it. We could have ore for uh, iron ore for days here. Or it could be just that. <laughs> ah, bummer. It doesn't seem to be a vein. I was getting excited there. Thought maybe we came across something. I mean, we did get 35 iron so far from this adventure. So that's a thing. I feel like I don't want to come up until I have redstone. I want a clock. <laughs> I want to know what time of day it is before I come back up to the surface. Mine the tough? Okay, alright. Think the vein could continue? Oh, well now we know what time it is because we've got our day 20 complete! 
<laughs> All right, the sun is rising now. We know that just because of the uh, the little timer in chat there, but wanted to see if there's some more iron past this tough, and I'm not seeing any. It's worth checking out, though. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I still don't feel safe. I feel like anything could just like come down. Let's keep going though. That was tough luck. Aha, uh -huh. I see what you did there. I'll give you one of these. Don't you need raw iron blocks? I mean, I could turn if I had my crafting table with me, I could I could make a crafting table and turn it into a block, but so far, it's not uh, it's not taking up more than two inventory spaces, so I'm not too bothered by it. It's fine. It's gonna be nice having all this deep slate. I'll keep spam torching. Oh, I hear, I hear mobs. This could easily open up. Oh, there was a raw iron. What? No, you didn't. Those just spawn naturally? I think you guys are seeing stuff. I think you guys are seeing stuff. Hang on. We'll, we'll take a proper look here after I craft this. They spawn naturally in the veins. Oh, that would be amazing. That's like super good find. Okay, there's not one there, but there there could be. Okay. There's a there was a <laughs> You should look out for this, not a I saw this and you missed it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I was going to say I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary here. It will be probably nighttime by the time we go back up. If we sleep down here, I think we're far enough away that like surface stuff will despawn. Or at least we'll uh, go away in the daylight by the time we get back up. So we could pop down a bed before we go back up. I'm thinking about turning the captions on, but then again, I kind of just want to use my ears. Captions equal. To, okay, I knew it. So. This isn't a crazy thing right here. What is What even is this? Just, just a little pocket? I hear skellies. I'm not going to worry too much about this, I don't think. I think we'll just pretend that didn't exist. Wall it up. There wasn't much to that. <laughs> Random noises. Yay. <laughs> We're blocking it off with tough. Let's just, I mean, we could just, we could just take a little peeksies. There's some lava. All right, we're taking it. This is fairly safe. Shouldn't have said that. Let's just see what it is. It's a little tighter than the last one, at least. Hey, redstone! Yes! All right. Let's just uh, check our surroundings real quick before we start getting crazy and getting into this. I feel like I'm going to get lost if I go too far here. Not hearing any mobs. Definitely could. Oh. Skelly. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he hit me. I had my shield up and everything. What was that about, dude?
All right. Super dark in here, man. No wonder you spawned. Oop. Make sure that gravel's not just going to fall away on me. This is how I get lost. Okay, there's a torch there. Ooh. That's going to open up, I think. Let's leave that go back the other way. Torch spam. I know I don't need this many torches. Oh! Oh, man. Anytime I see, like, the enchanted bow action, I'm just like, yeah, let's not get too close. That, that could be a power five bow for all I know. Oh! All right. Let's do this. Let's dance, you and I. Grab the redstone and run. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We need to make sure we know which way is which, too. All right, there's our redstone. Let's grab this gold while we're here. Why not? We're going to need some gold. Is that it? Just one little piece? Oh, that was disappointing. There's some more down here if we want to risk it. If we want to risk it. Uh, that's where that skelly came from, however. Mobs raining down on our heads is not a good idea. Checking. All right. There's a lot of little overhead things that we could... Wow. This is kind of cool. Goes down into there in a cool way. All right, let's grab some more gold, some more redstone right here. I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff running at me. It's the deep slate. Okay. A little bit more gold here. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, there's some iron there too. I just stepped over. You guys saw a geode in there? Where? We'll take a look. Why not? Geode where that skeleton came from? Oh, okay. Sweet. Chat is very helpful. Oh, another skelly. It doesn't see me. Neo! Did you see that dodge? Neo. What are you saying? Are you saying I can dodge bullets? <laughs> oh. oh man, I'm exploring and this is where we get super lost. But there's so much good stuff! Exploring is fun! What I'm saying is when you're ready, you won't need to. <laughs> oh, such a good movie. Such a good movie. I just watched that too. Getting ready to watch the new one. I haven't seen the new one yet. No spoilers. Don't talk about the new one. <laughs> I can't wait. Love me some Matrix. Hardcore brings out the best in players. Yeah, we gotta like be professionals. And stuff. I'm almost out of torches. Oh. Wow. I'm tempted to just follow this down instead of like, the, you know, we, I want to keep building that staircase because I, I said that's what we're doing and I'm stubborn. But uh, now this is this is definitely leading to some really cool places. So. All right. Where were we? Back over here. Oh, who? And what do we have here? Is this what I think it is? Oh, I'm seeing some calcite. 
This kid, yep, there it is. We found a geode. No way. I hope it's not infested with mobs. <laughs> All right, we're going to be safe breaking into this thing, of course. Nice eyes, chat. Very nice eyes. You guys saw the uh, smooth basalt, right? Knew what we were in for here. Pros. Pros. Dig this out. Is there a way to get in without... I mean, I guess you just break the, the non-growing blocks and it's fine, right? Like these guys. Oh. Oh. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? Anyone at all? No creepers? All right. <laughs> We've made our way inside the geode. Excellent. I did grab some copper. I mean, we could make a spyglass if we want. Uh, might be nice for looking around. Let's go ahead and grab some of these shards as well. Could use these. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna have to remember where this was. Okay. Good eye chat. Really good. That's why it's nice, you know, having a few thousand people to help me out with some, you know, some stuff. Cords? We can write down the cords, I suppose. Could do one of these things. Um, I want to make a better way in this. Oh, sure. Right where I put the torch. Right. We'll do a little bit of this action. We'll... Little cheaty cheaty. Boop boop. A little screenshot for the win. Alright, let's see if we can find our way out. Do I have some I was gonna say, if I can just like put a couple blocks where I know they're not natural right here, and then just put a torch. Like a like a, a budget scumpus. That's what we're doing. Budget scumpus. <laughs> So that, I'll see that, I'll see it pointing that way, and I know I need to go this way, okay, to get out. Oh, could, yeah, I could use those amethyst blocks. We'll just use a little trail, right? Follow the amethyst blocks, right? There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, that was cool. Uh, we have some lava if we want to grab that. I'm thinking about going back up and crafting a bucket. I bet you anything it is nighttime. Let's sleep. Yeah. Let's sleep and go back up. And that is the end of day 21. Very nice. Getting some goodies. It's time to go back up and drop them off. And we will uh, we'll see so far what our haul is. I can't wait to make a clock. I want to know what time of day it is. Creeper behind me. Uh-oh. We've made it three weeks. Oh, geez. Okay. This needs, this still needs a roof. We still need like regular stairs. I hate this. I hate this right now. We got to put in like regular stairs. Like hitting our head. We got all the things. Make some stairs when I'm up here. Yeah. Let's get them going. A minecart? <laughs> Just take a minecart ride. Once you have like regular stairs, you, you zip up and down them pretty fast. It's fine. And we'll make sure we're not hitting our head and stuff. And just to be safe, let's run out and look around. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Three weeks. We've been streaming for three weeks. All right. Dropping off the goodies, all the stone stuff. Um... So how's the dripstone work? Let's let's get the dripstone going. If we make a quick little dripstone farm, I guess it doesn't matter too much. But um, can we just pop these down? And then you pop on some dripstone and then those will grow. How come there's water coming out of that one? Got to have water above it. Okay. 
Let's 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 actually make a, a dripstone area then. Let me make like a proper dripstone farm, if you will. Put my axe away. If and when you die in hardcore, how you think it will happen? I think it'll be a creeper just falling on me from like above. I hope not. Jeez, my coffee is cold. I forgot all about it. <laughs> hardcore, hardcore mode, and I'm like so focused. I'm not having I'm drinking my coffee. Let's do this. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. How many did we grab? 16? Alright. I don't know why we would need massive amounts of dripstone, but... Might as well. How many did we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's enough. Alright. And we'll put like a little shell around it, I suppose. Of tough, of course. Why not? Tough works. Just a little basin to hold the water. Yeah, we need to go grab some of that lava. I think I might head back. Next time we go down there, I'm bringing an empty bucket. We're going to grab that lava. Would be nice to make a, a lava source. All right. This jump is not going to kill us. Oh, one and a half. One and a half. If I put water there, that makes it a dripstone farm, right? But if we put lava there, we could make a lava farm. Maybe we need to do that. Because we don't need dripstone, really. This is kind of, right? We don't really need dripstone. We need, we could use lava. We could use a nice infinite fuel source. That would be much better. We need both? Yeah, we got to get lava if we want it to drop through and make a uh, lava farm in a cauldron. Yeah, if, if we wanted to make a dripstone farm, but I don't know that we really need a dripstone farm now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm thinking maybe we go grab some of that lava from down there. I feel like that's going to be much more beneficial to us. I want to make that. Oh, we should do the copper too. I'm making the clock. <laughs> we have a clock. Yes. I feel so much better. All right. Now we know it's daytime. I'm just going to keep this in my inventory. This is, this is taking up an inventory spot for the rest of the season. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe at some point I'll be brave enough to, to not need that anymore. But for now, that's where it's at. Sweet. We have the clock. I uh, no longer needing to eat apples. Let's get rid of that. Do a little bit of cleanup here. We have six cauldrons. We got to do the lava thing. That way I don't need to make charcoal anymore. We could use lava buckets. Let's do that. Um, so I'm going to make a couple buckets. All these are going to be buckets. Let's go see if we can collect some lava. Got my bed. Oh, let's do the stairs though. On our way back up, we're doing stairs. And we can do them out of... What do we want to do them out of? We need something. Whatever the cheapest block is. We've done all this smelting, though. We could make them out of andesite. Hmm. Should we do andesite stairs? 36 isn't going to do it. Oh, I should have made a stone cutter. <laughs> Oops. Uh, deep slate. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna hold on to. Should have done the stone cutter. We're gonna save some andesite. Oh well, it happens. It happens. We're going down to collect the lava. 
And then on the way back up, we'll start to do the steps and carve back out. <laughs> this is the scary part. Out in the open where everybody can kill us. So now anytime we see andesite, we're going to have to grab it. Okay. Lava source here. It's probably just the one. Hot stuff. Uh, and that's going to open it up for us to go down and check out whatever's down there also. Uh, we should replace a light source. I don't know how much of this is going to be lit. I mean, I feel like we've kind of overdid it there with the torches. And I think I saw some lava sources back this way as well. So let's head this way. Um, I guess we go down this way. No more torches. We're braving it. We're braving it. This is really cool generation though right here. I feel like we're in between some tectonic plates of some sort. <laughs> uh. No survival video for YouTube? Yeah, this is going to end up going on YouTube. Um, got a, a, an editor, the, the one, the only, the amazing, the Puka, is going to edit these down and, and get uh, a clean copy for YouTube whenever he gets his uh, chance to do so. We've got realistic caves. I like that. All right, more lava. All right, this is a good lava pool here that we could use multiple times. Excellent. Excellent. And some more there. More redstone there if we need it. I'll be down here a few times. I know it. Ooh. Follow the amethyst crumbs to get out. Need a button for the skiz achievement? Oh, man. Um, okay, when we do these stairs, that does mean that we have to replace our torches as well. I mean, do we just... Do we just bite the bullet and do the side torch? gig and then and now it, uh i guess we do it above couldn't we so we do need to like open this up even more now right as we do these stairs so we don't hit our head and then we could do torches above just just for lighting not necessary f for uh, mob spawning purposes but oops needs to be like tfc's immaculate mines oh man he really does take pride in his his minds. Like you love to see it. I can't imagine how much time he spends just making sure like the torches are perfectly lined up and just everything's just like immaculate. We're not hitting our head. Like I opened this up good enough already. Uh we are hitting our head. Okay. We'll dig these out one more then. We're going to be spending about six hours a week, I guess, because we're doing two streams a week in this world. So about six hours a week. I mean, I feel like we could get a lot done six hours a week. I'm looking forward to it. Like, I'm, I'm already, like, in love with this world. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be super sad if we die, when we die. It's a, it's, it's a matter of when, which is scary. All right, couple stairs. We have to do andesite hunting. Either that or change the block. Maybe we should have done diorite. Look how much diorite's out there. Maybe we could switch it. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we go. We'll stick a bunch out. Maybe we make an actual stone cutter. I'm gonna lose this pick now. Bird poop stairs. <laughs> Can't have that. No way. Oh, wow. Let's not do that. Jeez. Alright. Polished diorite. Not regular diorite. Polished diorite. Color code for the different uh, levels. Uh oh, our clock says it's nighttime and that we should not go to the surface just yet. <laughs> that is exactly why we have the clock. So now we can come down here and we can sleep the night away. 
Oh, I knew there was a reason why I made a clock. And that's the end of day 22. Very nice. Very nice. We're doing well. Let's just wait a second for all the things to burn. How's the hardcore progress? Today, today it's going slow. I underestimated how long it would take to dig down to diamond level. But we've done some exploring, some cave exploring, which is scary. We've actually put ourselves in some danger today. And run! Anyone out here? We're good. Every time I leave. Every time I leave. Oh, man. Uh, F3 escape. We can pause it. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Woo! Just checking the recording length here. We're good. Holy smokes. People being amazing. Where did I leave off? Bordy Fighter, thank you so much. Danny Thrower, D Fox, Sir Forehand, Steel Tech, Lunabeths, Blue Rose, Vagabond, Brother, Jez, Tyler, uh, PR 1997, Respawn, Snuffles, The Conqueror, Benjo, uh, Crack of Paul, Aaron Smile. Thank you guys for all the, the resubs and the subs. Welcome to the Sub Club if you're new. Thank you guys so much for all the support here on Twitch. Really does mean the world to me. Um, Jez, thank you so much for those 100 biddies. Abnormal Axe, thanks for the three months. Kimlock, thanks for that gift sub bomb. Gifted out five gifted subs to the community. You're amazing. Cad Geek, thank you so much. I'm doing all right. I'm not really feeling the need for a break. It's going to hit me like 10 minutes before this before my stream end time. Out of nowhere, watch. I'm good. I did not drink enough coffee, though. Isn't it just escape? Yeah, there we go. Can I do the water clutch? Not with a shield in hand, unfortunately. And I'm afraid to I'm afraid to not have my shield. Do I need a do I need full dripstone things? For the lava to go through. Oh, we'll go into the nether. We'll go into the nether. There's no rush. There's no rush to get in there now. But yeah, we'll definitely be making a trip to the nether at some point in time. Jez the Berserker, thank you so much for those thousand bits. Oh, you got a hype train started. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Up, 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 up. Okay. Sorry, water. Oh. So I made a pickaxe. Oh, oh, look at my cows. Let's get that out. There's so much I want to do right now. There's a million things I want to do. You guys got the hype train rolling, though. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Susan, thank you for the nine months. Correct. Thanks to the 14. Vince, thanks for the 100 biddies. There's so many things I want to do right now, but right now I think I better make a new pickaxe. Probably need to find a way to help Puka out with the editing of this. So I can just imagine like having to watch three straight hours and try to figure out like what parts are are worthy of putting in the uh, the polished YouTube video. It's probably a bit of a challenge. All right, so we made up our mind. We are going for a lava farm. <laughs> We're going to make infinite lava. <laughs> and it may not be super productive, but it, it'll be good. It'll be good to have. So I've got three sources now, which means I need to keep collecting some lava sources. And yeah, we need to put some cauldrons underneath these, right? So that they're actually collecting. Good thing I stole the cauldrons from previous villages that we went to and do we just place it right there just right it right below them i think that will work if we give it enough time they should start to fill up with some lava i guess i didn't need to make this as high up as i i did but maybe we can walk under it <laughs> we can collect lava from underneath if we want maybe fully automate that later who knows all right lava farm can we do it that way Fifty minutes per bucket. Do we need an air air gap? 
Oh, we could put we could put the lot the buck uh cauldrons on the ground. That might be better because then we can actually see it. Or I could build a platform up to it or something. Hmm. Well, I'll go grab some more buckets. I'll grab some more buckets. We'll put the next three cauldrons lower. You can automate it with like macros that like right clicking stuff. A little bit cheaty cheaty, but. Oh, I wanted to breed the cows. There's a million things I want to do right now. There's so much like I need to tend to everything. We got to do the, the harvest, the crops. We got to breed the cows. I mean, this is like work, people. This is work. We're doing, we're getting, we're doing the work. Let's get this off. All right. <laughs> we're going to have beef for days now. We've got a, plenty of cows. They're going to start entity crabbing in this space eventually, if I'm not careful. In fact, we could do that. We could make a little cheap, uh, what are they called? Entity cramming. We can make a cheap entity cramming cow farm if we want to. That might be a good idea. Our cow crusher. Is that what I called it? I can't even remember what I called that video. Again, we got an escape. We, we ha we al there's always one. There's always one cow that's like, I'm out of here. And your name is Dinner. No. <laughs> I don't think he liked that idea. No, not dinner. You know, I'm going to wait until every one of these is fully grown. And that way I can just swoop through the whole thing without a care in the world. That's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Okay. And also we need a, how do you make it? A stone cutter. How do you make a stone cutter? Oh, it's a smooth stone. That's why. Okay. I was surprised it didn't show up. All right. Let's just pop that on top of the crafting table. Now we can save a little bit on the andesite stairs. We'll keep rocking. We'll keep rocking. We're making progress. Remember when you had to Google recipes? I know, right? What a cool change that they made. Here I'm giving them a very hard time about all this other stuff, like the rain and stuff, making making things worse. But uh, they have definitely made some positive changes. Helpful, helpful crafting to have the recipes in there. I do like the idea that you kind of have to unlock them too. So there's a bit of a, like tech tree going on. Gives a little more character to the game. Can you dig it? Can you want to put a path to the farming it? area? Oh yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Everything's new. We just popped it down today. We'll, everything will get cleaned up. We got a lot of work to do. I want to make I, I want to make this infinite fuel source though because we're we're cooking so much of the the stone because it's like our foundation to what's going to be our base. So super smart to get the lava going. And yeah, somebody did just donate pie, three dollars fourteen cents. Trevor, rail back. Thank you so much for the kid. You dig it, three dollars fourteen cents. So thanks for the hour of entertainment between Minecraft, Phasmo, Trash Pirates, Among Us, uh, you and the others make me smile every time. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like the streams. Um, makes me super happy to to know that you're actually enjoying some of the variety games that we do, right? Um, always had a fear that I will be Minecraft forever. <laughs> um, and that's not a big deal for me because I'm always enjoying Minecraft. But, you know, the idea that I can venture into some other games and, and people still enjoy those streams makes me feel pretty good. Makes me feel pretty good. I like that. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. And yeah, there should be some Phasmo returning soon. Maybe this week. There's been a Phasmo update that we're excited about. So I think you will see a return as long as everyone's schedules line up. That's usually the biggest point is like there's four of us. So all of our schedules have to line up in order for us to have a, a Phasmo session get scheduled for the JIT stream on Thursday afternoons. Usually if it works out, we will uh, we'll be getting one going because we're excited about the Phasmo update. So, all right. 
Oh, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Let's make some stairs. Not quite nighttime. You've been liking the variety streams too? Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh man, thank you guys so much for that hype train. Hype train what? Number two of the stream? That was amazing. You like that we, uh, we exposed you to new co-op games? Awesome. Yeah, we're always on the lookout for, for some, some cool new games to play. Shield me off, man. Thank you. I went into the I went into the uh the cow farm and, and can't it's really hard to breed the cows when you have your shield on. Make sure you research the mimic ghost before you play. Uh oh, that that sounds like that sounds like maybe we shouldn't so that it's like super super fun to find out, you know, be surprised by it. Could could create some good content if you know what I mean. Uh do we wait? I'll just sleep after. Yeah, I'll sleep before I come back up. I don't want to waste any time here. Let's get going. Oh yeah, Mario Kart is this Saturday. That's right. I gotta. Uh, I'll be back together with uh, uh, Z Royal Viking and Dap Mods for some Mario Kart 8 action. Um, it is the last of our scheduled uh, partnered streams for Duncan, and uh, it's gonna be fun. I oh, I didn't practice. I said I was gonna practice. Over the break, I got sick and, and didn't really feel like practicing because I wasn't feeling well. I should have. I should have practiced. Oh, man. All right, we'll grab these buckets. We'll make some more stairs. We're definitely bonking our head on this bit. So we need to uh, carve that out at some point. We didn't exactly make our way down to diamond layer, did we? Get my sword out just in case. I don't know how safe it is in here. I'm going to pop down some torches, but you never know. You'd love to see me play Subnautica? That game looks super fun. I used to have a really hard time balancing my time between like playing different games, but now that I'll be heading into uh, full-time content creator mode, I might be able to tackle some, some different various games for once, right? I used to have to get really picky about how I spent my time. Now I should be able to be a little more flexible. Could at least fit in one or two variety streams a week. Woo! Stairs are nice. Stairs are nice. We're hitting our head on the way down, though. Uh oh. I'm in a I'm in a dangerous spot to just be standing here like this. I'm like ready to shield. Just hear a creeper hit the ground and have to shield. Icarus? Sounds familiar, but I'm not... I can't remember what that game is. I keep placing the stairs upside down. Do I play Call of Duty? No, but I used to play Battlefield. I do have Battlefield 2042. Um that I installed and have not played. Again, it was like, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have all this downtime during the holidays. I'm gonna try playing all these different games, you know, off camera for fun and play some some Mario Kart for, you know, practice and stuff. And, and then like, you know, I didn't. <laughs> None of that actually happened. It is, yeah, yeah. Bad, bad nighttime. Let's dig into here and sleep. Nighttime bad. Oh, I gotta cut this recording too. Eh, 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 eh. Let's just do this. I'd have been sad if I didn't bring my bed with me. It's our little rest area, yeah. <laughs> oh, Halo Infinite would be fun. Yeah, Skiz, Skiz used to play some first-person shooters with me as well, Battlefield. We really like the Battlefield series. I had a hard time with it. I tried Call of Duty, and I, I had a hard time with it for some reason. Like, the play style was just so different than Battlefield, and that's what I was used to, that I never really got into it. Uh-oh. These torches, we gotta replace them next time we come back down, I guess. And we're good. 
Have I ever played Deep Rock Galactic? No. I have not. There's no lava in them yet. How long does it take for us to get lava in these? I just don't want to fall in the lava. You know? That would be that would be a bad way to go out. Oops. I want to like cover it. <laughs> I want to cover it. Okay, that's sourced. Don't throw the iron in there. Okay, so we have three more. I think I will put these. Let's put these down and find out because it is it is kind of cool to like watch it drip animated there. We got a raid coming in. We do have a raid coming in. Thank you so much. I didn't hear a thing go off. There's no noise for raids. What's up with that? Welcome. Welcome Raiders. I'm going to I'm going to what's it F3 escape or something. Yeah, I'm pause the game. I'm new to the single player stuff. Uh, we'll pause the game. We're in a hardcore single player world, 118. And uh, while I'm sitting here looking at chat and welcoming the Raiders, I don't want to get creepered. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll do a little pausey pause action. Thank you so much. And that reminds me anyway, I need to cut the recording. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome Raiders. Uh, like I said, we are, what, are, what day are we on chat? What was the last day that came across? Anybody remember? We're on day like 20 something of our hardcore series here. 23. Nice. 23 days down. We're still alive. Just now getting into uh, setting up a way to get down to some, some branch mining action. We have a village nearby. I wanted to try to grab a couple villagers today. That could be fun. Anyway, hang out, guys. We're going to have some fun. We're making a lava farm. I got to hit record again. We're making a lava farm right now. We've got some cauldrons. Hey, we've got our first source of lava. I think we can grab that, right? If we just go in here and right click, boop. Nope, not close enough. Boop. All right, free lava. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I'd <laughs> love to see it. I wanted to see if these ones being at the lower level will still work. And if so, it's kind of cool because then we can actually see it animated there. So now instead of of uh, burning wood to get coal or charcoal like a chump, we can actually just use our lava instead. And that's a good thing because I still need to smelt down a bunch of cobblestone. We're still trying to build out the base here of what will become where we build our, our base, the base of our base, if you will, <laughs> is going to go right here. We need a lot more of the smooth stone to do so. So that's going to come in super handy. And we've got a lot of good stuff. Should I make a, I could actually make a spyglass right now. That could be fun. Let's do that. Our first spyglass. And um, let's, let's just go up on the hill here and look around. We've had a couple pillager parties try to come in and say hi. And we've just avoided them. Because uh, definitely not ready to, to face anything like that. So hopefully we don't have a party waiting for us up here. I'll take a look. Oh, you guys know it's coming. <laughs> is there a cat over here? I just heard a cat. Why is there a cat nearby? What? Kitty? Where are you? I don't know where it is. I, I hear it, but I don't see it. It's like stuck in there or something. All right, let's take a look around with our spyglass. Aha! You know we had to do it. Aha! <laughs> We've got our spyglass action. And, um, uh, yeah, there's nothing nothing too special to see. A couple sheep over there. Look at this, though. I know I'm going to be using something like this to create a flower farm because I end up getting a lot of the blue dyes that I use for cyan, which I, I use a lot of cyan in my builds. Hi! Hello! He's just chilling right there. 
We could have we could have been over here, a uh, hine our way around. Oh, beehive over there. <laughs> and he could have easily stuck up on us and ended ended our entire world right now. Oh man. <laughs> Spyglass wasn't good enough to see that guy apparently. Let's just let's let's just stay safe. Let's see. let's get rid of him. Oh. Uh oh. I think there's some Okay. Okay, there's a witch in there. <laughs> what is happening? We've got a whole bunch of mobs just hanging out. Get it. Okay. Okay. First try. Nailed it. Maybe we can get some potions of some sort. Healing potion. What'd you drop? Anything good? Sugar. There is there is some sort of mob farm just around the corner right here. I am a little nervous. Uh, by a little, I mean a lot. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the first time I've seen that. Oh, good. And it's raining again. Uh, it's always raining. You don't want to come out here, do you, guy? Of course you don't, because you know what's on the outside. Yeah, that's right. It's called death. Your death. Wait, did all that stuff just spawn in this little bit right here? <laughs> we, had, we had a... This was our, this was our mob farm, apparently. Just this little hole in the ground. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So even though it's raining now, we've got our clock. We can see it's only midday. Let's go back. We've 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 tested out our spyglass. It worked fantastic. It almost killed us because we didn't notice the creeper right next to us. Let's get back to work, people. That was a very efficient mob farm. Yeah. Crazy town. Yeah, we should cut through here, right? We should cut a little path through here. Because it's kind of weird. We like go up over this hill. And then down the hill. To get to all our little farms here. We got more lava. Nice. Alright. Let me go check that out. That's a pretty easy mode right there. Because we got those cauldrons for free. Looks like it will have to step down still. All right. We could path block it, I suppose, but let's just... Oh, man, our inventory. Woo! I was hoping that witch would give us something good. She did not. Don't really need the spy class. That was just for that was just for flair, really. Right? Stones. Yeah, let's go grab that lava. It's free. And then I think it's time. All right. That worked. So uh, we can obviously have it be lower. I'm like almost afraid to move these ones because it's going to reset any kind of progress if, if there is some of these. But I mean, we got to do it right now that we know we want them at this level and it works. We're going to pop those there and it'll be much easier to see when these are filled up. So free lava. That is awesome. We're getting some crops growing. That is awesome. Things are really starting to take shape here in this world. I'm excited about the progress so far today. Although we had a goal, peeps. We had a goal. We have to get back on track. We had a goal that we were going to get diamond armor today. At least one piece of diamond armor before we can say today was successful. So we got to keep going. We got to keep digging down and getting into the diamond level which now is super far underground. But we'll continue. We'll continue to work our way down. It may take some time. We'll breed up the cows one more time. And then kill a few parents. Feels bad. We got lots of them, though. Holy smokes. Yeah, we got, we got plenty. We've got plenty. Oh. Avert your eyes if, uh, you know, this is going to give you an aneurysm or something. Do you suffer from epilepsy?
Careful you don't wind up with moose, Wayne. What? Watch out for entity cramming. I know I could get entity crammed in here. That would be, that would be, oh, so bad. Oh gosh. Oh, I hit a baby. Oh, I hit a baby again. They'll be fine. They'll be, they'll be all right. Totally, everything's fine. I gotta, I gotta get like my entity cramming chamber so this doesn't happen anymore. Okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> How many did we get? 16 steak? I'll take it. That's enough for now. And I can't get out. Looks like it's about nighttime. It's time to sweep. We do not need any mobs hanging out. I don't have this place lit up well enough. Let's pop it down. Get rid of the rain once again. At least for five minutes anyway. Feels bad. And that is the end of day 24. We are rocking and rolling. We've got free lava, which is now cooking our beef. How fantastic is that? I feel like we should be popping in other stuff once that's done. Because that lava source will, will go a long way. That's for sure. All right. Empty pockets. We're doing well, people. Doing really well. And copper. It is time for another chest. It's time for another chest. We're not we're not that well organized. Oh look at that. I could make a hopper if I wanted to. Can you imagine? We can make hoppers. That's where we're at in our world. The hopper stage. I do need to grab some more water though. You should jump critting them, it works better. Sure. Oh, starting to get the chest monster. Oh, look at the trees. Look at the tree farm going. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so used to like multiplayer worlds that every time I see the squid, I think I need to kill them. It's like, oh, if I don't get the ink now, people will be online next time I need ink and there won't be any spawning around me. But single player world, I don't have to worry so much about that. That's kind of nice. But if I jump crit, I have to yell crit every time. That's true. That's true. Do we really want to have to yell crit every five seconds? I got a feeling a lot of people are going to say yes. I just set that up, didn't I? Do I have any sticks? No. More torches. I want like a few more spaces in my inventory. Like, okay, we need our blocks. Water could save us in a sticky situation. Golden apple could save us in a sticky situation. Oak boat could save us, right? We need our torches. We need our food. Like, this is like the most organized hot bar I could have for hardcore, I think. <laughs> it won't bother you if I just yell crit. Okay. <laughs> Where is that cat? There it is. That cat stuck on that block up there. Man, how did it wander all the way over from that village? That's crazy town. I'm going to need another pickaxe. We're going. We're going to get diamonds. We're going to get diamonds, people. Buckle up. It's happening. Um, oh, I guess I could have. I'm going to make two. It's happening. We're going to go get diamonds. I'm so tired of not having diamonds that right now it's time. It's time. We do have to do this though. <laughs> okay, we're good. Anywhere where it's like not a lot of headroom, I'm I'm shaving this back. Next time we come down, I guess I'll do torches. Cuz it's super dark. Oh. Ugh! No, not like this. Not like this. I heard another one. I heard another one. That would be one heck of a way to go out. No. Oh, okay. Why is there so many of them now? Oh, no. Oh, they're all around me. Okay, I saw that one go out and come back in. <laughs> no, that would be so embarrassing to die in a hardcore world to silverfish, wouldn't it? Talk about most noobish death. 
That would take the cake. That would beat out the uh, magma cube one. That's for sure. <laughs> they definitely have uh, a lot more silverfish in these worlds now. And you do get a warning, right? Like with silverfish, it's when the block breaks faster or something like that, I think. All right, let's just make sure as we run down here, nobody's going to hurt us. I'm kind of wanting to... Not that that helps much, but... We did it. All right, these ones are actually at a decent level. Let's leave it. It used to be slower. Yeah, they switched it. It used to be like you would dig and if it felt a little bit slower, you knew you knew it was coming. But now it happens quicker, so you don't know it's coming. It's more of a surprise. There's no warning. Which I think is, I think is a good change. Because before you just start swinging, you're like, oh, I'm going to avoid that block. Or at least you, you prepare yourself for it. It does seem like they've they've done a bit of work to make the game harder. Okay, so we are currently at level... Oh, we're at level negative 32. That's not bad. Torch things. Yeah, I mean, these are all stairs, so I don't need to worry about it, but I will, I will torch them on the next time down. We don't have to worry about spawning there, at least. Okay. Did we did we have our debate about diamond level meta? Is it over? Is the debate over? Was there a clear cut winner? <laughs> or are we still fighting? <laughs> Negative fifty eight. Okay. <laughs> Negative 58 and I run into lava lakes. Is that below 54 we have lava? I I feel like I not want to deal with the lava. Like if I have to choose less diamond distribution but not dealing with lava. Fifty-six is the lava level. So 54 and we're fine. 54 it is. Settled. Okay. Now when we say 54, is that looking at the targeted block on the right? Or is that the Y value on the left? Ah. Now we're getting deep. Now we're getting deep. The Y value on the left. Okay. Okay. Because that means right now we're at negative 46. And we're going 54 is the final answer, I suppose. <laughs> now we're getting deep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do all the puns when I don't even mean to. You know, you live in Bodom for so long, the puns just come natural, right? It just becomes ingrained in you. We're getting there. Couple more levels and we're at 54, which is what we're going to try at. We'll see how it goes. When I reach my first, like, lava lake at my feet, then I'll know that we made the right choice. Unfortunately, it's all deep slate mining, right? So 53, 54... This is it. This is where we would be at proper branch mine level, but we're dealing with just deep slate now. So they've made getting diamonds this way way harder. Maybe we maybe we should have just went straight to villager trading. You torn between watching the rest of the replay or uh, checking it out on YouTube? I mean, obviously on YouTube you're not going to get the full experience. Um, you're going to get you're going to get it cut down to just the key moments. So if that's all you're looking for is just the key moments of the series, then yeah, you can you can wait. It'll be a few days, I'm sure, before this one's up. We're still we still have to get the last one up. 
Uh, yeah, I'll do pokey holes. We'll do pokey holes. We'll just do a long one and do a bunch of pokey holes back. Or watch both. There you go. I like that. That's some commitment. Wow. That's some commitment. I love that. Yeah, or you can watch the full replay whenever uh, suits you better on uh, my second channel, Impulse SVT. Look at that. We're getting all the all the hashtag plugs going. Very nice. What about redstone? Did I pass redstone? Oh, uh, yeah, I passed it. Um, yeah, I'll probably grab it. When's my next stream? Next stream, next stream is uh, probably tomorrow afternoon for Naked and Scared. We're now recording season 24. And then there'll be one on Wednesday at the same time as today for Create Mod possibility that we're doing phasmo on thursday with the jits crew and then friday we will be back here for some more hardcore so the hardcore series is gonna be mondays and fridays it's gonna kill me having all these days in between because i'm actually having so much fun am i still thinking about vault hunters i i did tell Iskel i might be interested depending on when the new season of vault hunters kicks off so uh it's just a matter of whether or not things line up okay so i'm kind of wait and see mode on that and then Saturday Mario Kart. You're right. I did not set my Twitch schedule this week. I need to get on my calendar. Uh, and yeah, on Friday night, I'll probably be stabby stabby. There's probably going to be a stream like every five seconds this week. Holy smokes. <laughs> so are all diamonds now deep slate diamonds? Now that they made this change. And we're okay with this. Hey, this is like, this is like my job now, you know? So... We'll keep it rolling. We'll do all the content. We'll do all the content. So much fun. I've really been enjoying streaming a lot. I'm taking a little bit of a break from uh, video editing. That's why I'm passing this stuff off to uh, Puka to edit. Just to give me a little bit of break from that aspect of, of content creation. And that's, you know, that's just because I needed to have some sort of a break. Don't burn myself out with all the streaming. I have so much fun streaming. Um, if I did feel burnout, I, I'd probably just cancel a stream or two, you know. Um, but I have so much fun. I don't see that being a problem. And now that my internet looks like it might be fixed. It's pretty awesome. Don't have to worry about it as much. It, it's been good for solid seven days. So that's that's a good sign. All right, let's do pokey holes. This isn't. This isn't going well. <laughs> oh, with pokey holes, you leave the blocks, though, and that feels bad for Deep Slate. I've had Giga Blast for a while, yeah. It was some sort of issue with one of the parts on the like the the box, basically. It feels bad, like losing these blocks. You know what I could do? What day did they fix my internet? I think it was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. We could do this, couldn't we? Oh, that gets rid of my torches, though. Look at that. If we really want the deep slate. I didn't reach that last one. There we go. If we really want it. But then we got to do like torches on the walls. And I know how people feel about side torches. I'm gonna get hate. We had no choice but do side torches. No choice, people. Zero choice. All right, well, there's other things we could have done. It would have taken too long. This is not the way to get diamonds. Getting diamonds now in Minecraft is a horrible experience. Horrible experience. We have to do this through Deep Slate now. What have they done? What have they done? Why the hate on the side torches? I, it's kind of a, a it's at this point, it's kind of a meme, I think. I think it was mainly like Slipgator back in the day. Would hate on it. 
And it became kind of a meme. And we all just ran with it. Most of the diamonds you got from caves, not branch mining. Yeah, I don't think branch mining is a thing anymore. This is this is not a fun experience. You like how I'm like so like I want all the deep slate though. <laughs> uh. Exploring's better for diamonds. Yeah, maybe we give up on this. I think, yeah, I think branch mining might be a thing of the past. Exploring caves is definitely more dangerous. But this seems like a waste of time. Yeah, definitely safer. Like, if I, if I was able to just get my first suit of, of armor of diamond armor, then I'd be much more like, oh yeah, let's just go exploring for it. Poor TFC, I know, right? They've like destroyed TFC's favorite part of the game. <laughs> it's a bummer. Please don't die. I don't plan on dying today. We're, I mean, the good news is we're gonna have plenty of deep slate. So that's the thing. We might need to, yeah, we might need to switch modes here because I'm not loving on this. Is it just bad luck for real? Are we just having bad luck? The, the ore distribution at this level is not going to be as high, right? Like, really, the best level to go to is, like, 64. I don't think diamonds generate at zero, do they? Oh, they do. Just really low. Really low. We should have We should have found some by now, I would think. You mined out a 200 by 2 by 50 and got a stack of diamond blocks. Okay. So then, yeah, this is just, we're just not getting very lucky so far. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, I was just about to give up on this whole thing. And we finally get our first branch mined diamonds. Now, I didn't get the diamond thing because we found our first diamonds in, I think it was a uh, sunken what was it? A, a buried treasure, I think. We got our first diamonds in. But there we go. Four diamonds from this. And I had to dig quite a few pokey holes, as you saw. So, yeah. I'm not sure branch mining is the best way to get diamonds anymore. I think I might just go exploring. It's going to be a little more scary. And we could probably die. But um, the idea of getting an entire suit of diamond armor. Oh! Never mind. We're just going to keep doing this, apparently. <laughs> I was just unlucky. I went into YouTube voice. It's a habit. I knew that was going to get recorded. I knew that was going to make video. Maybe I do need to do YouTuber voice just for Puka to know like, what's going in the video. All right. All right. I take it back. We're up to 13 now. That's awesome. All right. What do we need for a full suit? Full suit. Full suit. Full suit. What's the number? I forget. Uh, you need eight for the chest. 24. All right. You guys, got, you guys are locked and loaded. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that question out there for a little bit. I'll leave it out there. And I think... Uh, I think that'll that'll seed the comments a little bit. All the all the people that are are smart Minecrafters that know the number off the top of their head are gonna drop a comment. Comment seeding for the algorithm, right? Twenty four. So okay, we're gonna continue this. I'm we're not. This episode's not getting complete until we have a full suit. So that was crazy. Like two pokey holes in a row had diamonds. This is taking a little bit longer because we're doing the water thing to uh, 
to make sure we're getting all the, the deep slate. Thirty-six. If I want tools as well, uh, I'm not gonna worry so much about tools today. I don't think. I think today my main goal is just to have the diamond armor. I could seriously play this for like all day. I might. <laughs> I said I was only gonna play this on stream. I might. I might need to add some extra streams in because I don't want to stop playing this. I do have stuff I have to do this afternoon, so I can't go past my scheduled stream stream time today. I have I have some uh, priorities it, IRL that I need to take care of. But uh, yeah, I just want to play this nonstop. Like I feel like I could I feel like I could easily do an eight hour stream of this. Oh, we made it through day 25. Oh my gosh, we are a quarter of the way to 100 days in Minecraft. Wow, that happens quick. Too quick. I feel like if I was making a 100 days in Minecraft video, I would have the lamest thumbnail by the end of this. We're not like speed running super builds or anything crazy, right? It's actually making me have a new appreciation for some of these, some of these I spent a hundred day in Minecraft videos where it's like they've built a mega base in Minecraft in like a hundred days. New respect or questioning reality? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to, I want to throw any sus, but I mean... I guess I could see if you get after it, you know, we've been chilling. We haven't really been going, trying to go crazy. I guess if you get after it, you could really, you could really do a lot in a hundred days. Lost some time by sleeping through the nights. That's true. Since we're doing hardcore. Yeah. So we're basically like 200 or, or uh, we'd have to spend 200 days to make up for that last time. Progress does snowball. Yeah, that's true too. As as we get more geared up and stuff, I won't. I'll be a little more brave and and not uh, have to step so cautiously and stuff. Trick with finding lapis and tough. Oh, is there a new one? Is there a new meta for for the lapis trick? Because the lapis trick is gone now, as far as I know. Losing time without. Yeah, I need efficiency. Yeah, that's true. I kind of want to like dig this out, but kind of don't. Yeah, Lapis Trick is gone. I thought I heard about that being gone, which is fine. It was it it, it is a little bit. It's kind of like the buried uh, treasure, right? From the treasure maps, it's like just knowing that you just go to nine nine. Almost makes it too easy. So the same thing with the Lapis trick. Like, I felt a little cheaty last stream doing the 9-9 trick. It kind of takes some of that, some of that fun out of it, I think. Mario Kart's going to be on Twitch. That is correct. Yeah. Streaming on Saturday. I got to get... After, uh, after I'm done with all my adulting that I have to do today... I will fix my Twitch schedule so you'll be able to go to twitch.tv slash impulse SV slash schedule and you'll be able to see what the plan is for this week. And it looks to be a pretty hefty week. My pockets are full. I'm not picking up the deep slate anymore. All right. <laughs> Bad. And I made a mob farm. What were the torches getting washed out? We gotta get the we gotta get enough for a diamond suit. 24. 99 trick takes the frustration out. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Like I've always had such a hard time with the treasure chess. Um so it is kind of nice, you know, but then again, it's like 
it's also kind of nice to be able to just go into creative mode and have everything you want. You know, it's, I don't know. There's some sort of like reward for having to work for things, you know. I'm not dead yet. I am getting a little frustrated that we're not finding more diamonds, though. <laughs> we got to get that suit. I mean, we got about 20 minutes or so. Got to work hard for your money. So hard for your money. <laughs> I think somebody's got a song in their head now. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm going to stop collecting this deep slate just because I want to get a move on. I think I think now's the time. All right, so there's Tuft here. Somebody was mentioning, like, something about Tuft. Like, when I see Tuft, should I just... Uh-oh. When I see Tuft, should I, like, do more with it? Dig it all out or something? Diamonds don't spawn in Tuft, so, like, don't, don't even waste my time with Tuft. Tuft. Do I... Do I... Did I, do I put a T? Did I put a T on the end of tough? Oh man. Oh. English is my first language. Oh. I'm so toughed. Ah, let's grab the redstone. Stack my torches? Oh, are they split? Oh, they are. I finally used enough. That's right. Flawless human being. They do spawn in tough. See, I thought somebody was saying something about tough as in like, oh, you should you should mine more when it's in the tough because then it's easier to mine tough than it is deep slate. English is tough. <laughs> English is tough. Yes, it is. It's so crazy how we go these like long stretches of nothing good. And then there was like almost two in a row with diamonds. I could easily see Puka during the editing of this just scrubbing. Just scrub the footage until you see like diamonds show up. If, if you see diamonds show up. I'm on day 25. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yep. Well, we finished day 25. The counter's a little weird. I wish it wasn't like that. Um, it's kind of throwing me off with this whole thing. Because we started on day zero, that means that when it said day one, that means technically we had completed an entire day. So day one, like it says day one, but that's the day that was actually concluded. So we've survived 25 days. Technically, we're on day 26. It gets very confusing. Time-lapse time. It's not like I have replay mod running or anything like that. Yeah, I probably should have kept looking for... Or maybe there was in a, way, a way to advance the counter or something the first day. Because it would have been much easier for, for it to start on day one. Yeah, it's like your birthday. Like, when you turn one, when you say, I'm one, that means you have survived a year, <laughs> right? You've been alive a year, not you're on your first year of life. And it's, it's, so it's kind of like that. And I guess it makes sense in that respect, but it's kind of throwing me off because I'd, I'd rather like, I'd rather say, all right, it's the beginning of day 25, you know, instead of we've survived 25 days. It feels weird. Come on, give me them diamonds. Give me them diamonds. I want to have a diamond suit of armor. We have to finish this day out with a diamond suit of armor. Come on, game. Come on, game. Be good to us. I feel like I hear lava. Should probably be ready just in case. We're losing deep slate again. Is there anything I can ditch? Yeah. Keeping the deep slate. You know we're going to be doing stuff with deep slate. You know we will. Might have to keep the stream doing, keep going until we get the diamonds. Might have to. Jeez. How much redstone we have? We've already getting up to two stacks. 
Is there still any validity behind like, oh, if you see redstone, there's a chance of diamonds? Because I used to dig out all the ores just because I felt like diamonds were going to be around the ores. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for two hours and 47 minutes. Nobody wanted to do any adulting today anyway. Now my wife might not be too happy with me if I stand her up here. <laughs> we got some, some things to take care of together. For you, it was always coal. If you saw coal, you would dig the coal out. All right. We are, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna go to the other side. Maybe we'll have more luck on this side. Wait a minute. <laughs> happy spouse, happy house, yeah. <laughs> Especially since we need to get, like, grocery shopping and stuff done. Like, you don't want to be hungry. Or hangry. <laughs> Diamond ore is much less likely to spawn near air, air blocks. That's true. That's why I thought branch mining would be the way to go. Right? Because if you're caving, those are air blocks that are that you're hoping to see diamond ore exposed to. But there's less of a chance of diamond spawning if there's air blocks. So, yeah, I don't know. Should we try to go lower? I feel like I need to make a chest and, like... Put everything away. We can try to go lower, and if we hit lava, we hit lava, you know? And then we know. Let's let's do this. Right here where this staircase is. We'll turn. First of all, I'm gonna do a little We gotta get it organized here a bit. Because we have way too much stuff. Let's put a chest here. And then we'll dig down even more. But we'll just test it out, right? If we run into lava and it's a pain, then we know. We know that was a bad idea. <laughs> easy, easy enough. Let's get rid of all this. Keep our diamonds, that's for sure. Keeping our diamonds. We got to get 24 diamonds, we said. I'm running out of wood, too. That's probably not good. <clears throat> Put that away. It doesn't really matter what time it is. Okay, so we're going to go down to 58. And I hope I don't run in any kind of lava sitch. Right? We just have to hope we don't run into a lava situation. Got to be ready for it if we do. Everything's been so dense so far. I'm feeling like I'm feeling somewhat safe about this. Okay, so this is actually 58. Why not go further? The further down we go, the further down we go, the better, right? Because there's more diamonds lower. So why even settle for 58? Put diamonds in the... Oh, that's why. Because <laughs> bedrock. Okay. But is this the level... Mm -mm -mm. Put diamonds in the chest to keep them safe. If I die, it's over. <laughs> so why? <laughs> if I die, it's over. I don't need to worry about what I keep safe. There is no such thing. There's no such thing. But at least the diamonds will be safe. The world will be over. But the diamonds will be safe. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. We'll try it at this level. We've actually gone to 59. Against, against chat's wishes. We've gone to 59. Just to annoy you guys. I'm not hearing any lava. I'm really listening. I know we got music in our ear and stuff, but. Oh.
Thought I heard lava. What music? Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, you're right. We don't have to worry about mobs, but I'm still, I'm still scared. At least, I mean, it's not like we're in the nether. It's not like the lava is going to come flooding in like crazy. This is what y'all tuned in for, right? Branch mining. Now you can see why we have a rule in Naked and Scared of no branch mining. Oh, definitely lava. All right, stop in here. It's to my left. So I'm not going to go any further. We're going to play it safe. There's lava just, just beyond that way that I can hear. So I'm going to, I'm going to start doing pokey holes back. At least with pokey holes, it'll be easy if we do hit lava to fill it in before it floods out. Make the armor now. No, I need all 24 diamonds in my hand and then we're making a full set of armor together. It must go down this way. And I must find these diamonds soon. Come on now. Might have to go into a little bit of extra innings with the stream. You guys are all hanging out now just to see will we actually get... Let's see. I mean, we got eight minutes, right? Before the top of the hour. Let's get a prediction going. What will come first? The top of the hour or me getting to 24 diamonds? Let's do that. Let's 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 wager some channel points. Drac, you want to set that up? Let's wager some channel points on this. That'll be fun. <laughs> We've got eight minutes now. So what's what's more likely? Eleven more diamonds or eight minutes pass? Let's get a prediction. We'll get a prediction going. You guys can actually like wager some channel points. Hang on. Don't put your guesses in chat. We're going to actually have a, a, a prediction poll thing. I think Dr Draconis is probably working on it right now. Potentially. Maybe. Maybe not. I never know what he's doing back there. <laughs> Come on. We went down even lower. We got a good chance now, right? I'm going to end up having to make another pick. There you go. There's the prediction started. There's the prediction started. I'll keep digging. I'll, I'm gonna keep digging like a madman. We're gonna we're gonna see. I'm at the lowest I can possibly be here. This will be the last time this series I branch mine. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Oh, if I would have known it was going to be this much work to get down here and branch mine, I would have just gone straight for villager trading. We got to learn. We got to learn the ways of 118. There's a third option is don't have diamonds. Oh, yeah, that's true. Makes you appreciate villager trading. Villager trading definitely is still overpowered, but I mean, who cares in hardcore, right? That's what you want to be going for. You want to make sure you're ready to survive. It's still fun trying, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's still fun trying. Where's the pole? Uh, it's gone now. That was quick. It was a quick one. Jeez. You voted all your points? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Ooh. Crazy noises. All right, we have to go a different direction. Because there was lava that way. I think I just heard lava again. Dig faster. I know. Five minutes. 
Come on, diamonds. Let's go. Let's go. I have to make another pick. I'm digging as fast as I can. Deep Slate's not fun. Mobile's the worst. You couldn't do predictions. Ah. Twitch fail. Come on. <laughs> Give me them diamonds. It's getting dark. No time to place torches. You did yours on mobile? Okay, interesting. Oh, I left the crafting table. Oh, no time for this. No time for this. Two. Go. Day 26 in the books. Oh, man. Four minutes. Not looking good. It's not looking good. Come on. Diamonds. Just give me bunches and bunches of diamonds right now. Underwater caving with water breathing. I have a little bit of water breathing from one of the uh, treasure chests or something. I can't remember where I got it from. Yeah, yeah, from Varied Treasure. I did grab some water breathing potion, but I don't know. Oh, it's because it's not technically exposed, right? Because it's water. I can redo the prediction so there's a longer timer. At this point, we're four minutes away. I think it's really going to... Uh... No, let's just run with it. It's all right. We'll run with whatever predictions were on the last one. Yeah, reduce exposure only counts for air. Okay. Yeah, water wouldn't necessarily, right? Might be pokey whole time. I'm actually surprised I haven't ran into any lava. Come on. Just give me the diamonds. I want to make a full suit. The thumbnail has to be me in full diamond gear at the end of day, whatever, 27 or whatever day we're on. <laughs> For the video. For the video. Episode two, full diamond gear. Come on. If it's Hermitcraft, it'd be episode one. You guys know how we do on Hermitcraft. <laughs> don't get reckless. I don't think I am. I, I mean, I'm really safe right now. We've had some danger today, though. The caving bit was was definitely pretty crazy. And of course, the uh, the creeper that didn't like my aha joke, you know, there was that too. I know we need the diamonds for the content. Nobody's going to click on a thumbnail if I'm not in all diamond gear. Jeez. Hardcore full diamond gear. Yo, we need it. Did I do the accent? Aha! That's the best I got. <laughs> oh, jeez. Two minutes. It's not looking good, is it? Oh, iron. Interesting. I'll go in there for the iron. Because behind the iron is... Diamond! No. It's because I left my diamonds right here! No, it doesn't work either. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> I tried. I tried to dig out the iron just to see. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I put my diamonds right here. Deep Slate takes so long to dig out. You guys missing Last Life? Me too. Last Life's so much fun. Third Life, Last Life, any kind of life. Just, just hanging out with that group of people doing stuff trying to murder each other forming alliances so much fun oh now we're digging into our other bit no luck we went lower and we have just as much bad luck I feel like man oh man somebody's gonna lose some points Somebody's going to lose some points. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be the optimistic people that said we'll definitely get the diamonds? Time's up. Time's up. We didn't even get one. Oh, gosh. 
You know what it was? Last time I was like, this method of getting diamonds is the worst. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. We're going to do it a different way. This is, this is the ruining Minecraft by making branch mining suck. And then like the second I started complaining about it, it was like, diamonds. Never mind. This is awesome. We've got all these diamonds. So I need to, I need to do it again. I need to start complaining. Eight minutes after the hour is the last part of the prediction. Oh, eight minutes after the hour? What? Are you sure it's this low? Yeah, yeah. The lower down in the world you go, the more diamond distribution is. Uh, Mojang published a chart about distribution. And you want to go as low as possible. And I am because I'm walking on bedrock. So it's about as low as I can go without having to, to deal with some bedrock issues. I know I have to lose the positive vibes for game. I don't know. That's just not me. Maybe the power of positive thinking needs to come through, right? I'm positive there's diamonds in this one right here. They're right there. Oh. I was so positive they were back there. How about some TNT mining? I don't have stuff for TNT mining. See, typically this is something I would do like off camera while I'm like watching some YouTube videos or listening to a podcast or something. But you guys are in it with me. <laughs> You're in it. Now we're we're in deep, right? We're in deep. It has to happen. <coughs> is deep slate more blast resistant than regular stone? I'm sure it is. Right? We're in deep slate. Ha ha ha. Nice. It's got the same blast resistance as, as cobble, even though it's harder to dig up. That's interesting. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, we're in the sunken fallacy. Hey! <laughs> there we go. And there's just one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Is there only one diamond there? That's not, I'm not giving up on that. There we go. There's your friend. Even then, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping there's even more. I'm still going to dig, dig this area out just in case. <laughs> All right. That gets us up to 15. We're still nine short from having a full set of armor though, peeps. Oh man. That was pretty rough. The swimming mode? Uh, I don't know. You thought your prediction was until 2 p.m.? <laughs> like, can I have my points back? The Minecraft gods are not being nice to Impulse today. Ooh, I just heard. This is probably not good. There's bats. I hear bats, but not mobs. Do we, do we dare? No one's in here. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hi. Okay. You're dead. 
Where's your friend? Oh, you didn't like that, did you? And now you're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Um. Um. Like, there could be diamonds in here. We should at least look. Right? Right? Oh, oh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't. There's also lots of skellies. So there's that. I mean, we'll just take a quick little peek. The, geez! Huh. Oh. Oh, this is dangerous. I don't think we should be in here. Nope, no, no diamonds. No, no diamonds in, in here. We're going to go now. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah, probably not worth the risk. But I didn't see any diamonds. I did look. Some lichen. That's, that, was, that was nice. Uh, okay, back to, uh, back to our regular scheduled program here. Let's, let's dirt it so we know it's there at least. Oh, man. <laughs> Everyone's like, finally some action. Jeez. Do something. It was a glorious cave. When I'm more decked out and ready to be more brave and I have my armor on and, and blast resistant and protection fours and all that stuff, we'll, we'll go check it out. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. <laughs> you didn't want that kind of action? Uh, my heart can't take it. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. What's my opinion on peanut butter on pizza? People do that? People put peanut butter on pizza? Weird. Although I would have thought peanut butter on a hamburger was crazy. Uh, but I do like peanut butter and jelly burgers, so um, may maybe, maybe it could be okay. I'm not gonna judge, I guess, and unless I try it first. But I mean, we came up with the idea for pizza waffles, and and that was pretty cool. People have tried it, and they said they were awesome. I mean, it sounded like a, a crazy idea at the time. Peanut butter and jelly on a burger, yeah. Um, but the jelly has to be special. You can't just like have grape jelly or whatever. Like you need, you need like a like a jalapeno jelly, you know, something, something with a, a little little kick, not just sweet. Yeah, spicy jelly, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Great. Now you guys are gonna make me want that. I'm gonna try to. I was gonna try to start getting back on track with eating healthy, people. You know, new year, new me, all that stuff. Peanut butter and ramen. Interesting. My daughter likes the spicy ramen. Like she'll pop in some of the uh, like hot sauce. It's pretty good. This is not going to happen. <laughs> this is not going to happen. There's no diamonds here. Jeez. Man, I feel real bad for all the people that lost all their, their uh, points. Lunar Cat, thank you so much for gifting out those five subs. I haven't been uh, I haven't been able to keep up with all the amazingness. Can I keep going, or is that gonna end up opening up this ravine again? Peanut butter in general, you don't like? I'm not a huge fan of just like straight up peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but you gotta stay totally pessimistic if you want results. Yes, that's right. We are never finding diamonds. We'll never find any more diamonds. We could be here for another hour and we're not going to find a single diamond. How's that for pessimist? Pessimistic. You got an appointment. You got to go. All right, take it easy. I got stuff I got to do too, man. I need these diamonds. Come on, game. Come on, game. Be good to me. Be good to me. Give me these diamonds. We got to have a full suit of armor to end the day. We need, we need the chat to feel good. We need the content. Come on, game. 
How many diamonds do you generate these days? It seems pretty low. Although if I had if I had a fortune, we would have been more than set by now, you know? Fortune would have given us all we needed. I'm going to burn another pickaxe, I think. Jeez. <laughs> My world's broken. <laughs> oh no. I can't. I have to go back. I have to go back to make the pickaxe. Uh, points should have been divvied out. Right, Draconis? Did you, did you trigger it to divvy out the points? Yeah. Yeah, to guess right. If you guessed that I wasn't going to get the diamonds, then, then, uh, <laughs> then you guessed right. Look at this. We have to get it within the next two pickaxes. That's all we have. Sorry, I don't have enough. I don't have enough wood to uh, make do the trapdoor trick. I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't feel like doing it anyway. Deep slate can mine. St oh, stone pick? No. No, we're not mining deep slate with a stone pick. Are you kidding me? That's a big bag of dope. Big bag of dope. All right, here we go. This is it. Diamonds are coming. I smell them. I feel it in my bones. We're like, we're just a couple of these uh, pokey holes away. Might even be the next one. This is probably it. Okay. Well, we're getting closer. I smell it. There's mobs above me. <laughs> oh, man. I don't love the fact that there's mobs above me. The diamonds are coming. They're, they're so close. The smell is a zombie. I feel like this pick is, is, is better. It's faster. Diamonds smell like, um, kind of like ice. Yeah. <laughs> this pick is definitely faster than the last one. Like, we're just tearing through the walls now. Doesn't Scar lick diamonds? Mm-hmm. Maybe it was on this side. Maybe it was behind me that I was smelling. That's, that's a possibility. What does ice smell like? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Did I ever lick Scar's diamonds? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It was alright though, because he just he just had them cleaned. They were just sanitized and stuff. This is insane. Nobody should ever do this in Minecraft anymore. That's it. I'm digging through this tough. I feel like... I feel like... Something. I don't know what, but I feel something. We're exposing them diamonds. Get exposed. Get exposed. Let's go. Maybe we should build out of tough. I did hear lava. Now you guys said it. Diamonds could generate in tough, right? <laughs> Hearing mobs. Jeez. This <laughs> Who said it? I don't know. So someone in chat said them diamonds could gen generate. At this point, maybe no. This this should be better distribution of diamonds down at this level. We were just worried about the lava part, but so far lava hasn't really been an issue. It's just been bad luck. Fossils have a chance to spawn with diamonds. 
I broke my shovel. I really shouldn't be digging this up. Oh man. Did I expose the cave? Probably. Check the cave. Check the cave more. Get brave. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Get brave. The problem is there's so many places for stuff to come falling down on us. Like a creeper. If I die because of this, you guys are toast. Day 27. There's so many bats. There's so many bats. Where'd that skelly go? Creeper. Stop moving. No. Ow. I'm in the cave. I'm in the cave. We're in a cave. It's very scary. We're in a cave. There's lots of creepers over there. Oh. oh, why are we doing this? Because you guys want me to die, that's why. Y'all want me to die. Y'all trying to kill me. Do it for the content. Right. I need to save some arrows. Hey, there's a geode over there. That's the thing. I'm not seeing any diamonds in here. Now we came in here looking for diamonds. I was told there'd be some diamonds in here, and I've seen zero diamonds. I see a Jude. That is neat. I don't think we're gonna find any diamonds. I see some iron. Hey, there's some diamonds. I told you guys we'd find some diamonds in here. Where you at on that one? Jeez, they've been right here the whole time. Oh, jeez. Okay. No creepers coming? Okay. I'd hate to get creepered as I'm digging up diamonds. Let's just make sure. Okay, that's where we came from. It was right over the corner, too, from right where we dug through. <laughs> uh, oh, we found ourselves a geode earlier, peeps, and got ourselves a spyglass. We're good. We're good on the spyglass front. Don't have to worry about that. I didn't want to miss any diamonds if there was more in there. All right, let's see. I'm running out of torches, so we're not staying long. We're not staying long. Oh, that poor bat. Hey, there's some more. All right, just had to get a little brave and find some exposed diamonds. Let's just make sure nobody's creeping up on us. Oh, is it really just one? Got to check her back. I think that was just one. Is there any coal anywhere so I can just make a few more torches? We're braving it in the dark, people. Don't let me get lost, though. K. 
Okay, lava's good. Oh, here's some more. All right. There's creeper over there. Let me just check. Are we good? All right. Maybe this is the way to go. I mean, even though it spawns less on the surfaces, it looks like every time we find one, it's just like one. But it's easier to find. Coal doesn't spawn that far down. Okay, darn. 19. We're five away. Do I brave the creeper? Oh, geez. Okay, good. The shield worked. Whew. <laughs> if we stay around the lava, though, it's giving us some light, so we shouldn't have as many mobs spawning. This is a really cool looking cave, though. Just doing a quick little peek around the corner here. Not seeing any diamonds. I'm so getting lost. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, no diamonds that way. And now there's mobs back where I came from. Not good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no. I have one arrow left. I have one arrow left. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> We've got a creeper in the way. Just over here. Lots of skellies. That creeper coming? <sighs> that more creepers. Excellent. Whoa. Oh. Here we go then. And we're running. Oh. And we're out. Is that a little dude? That little dude coming at me. Oh, man. We had to run. We had no choice. It was getting hairy. Whoo! We ran right past that creeper. He didn't even explode. Oh. <laughs> I have one arrow left. Oh, my gosh. You guys. You guys are such bad influences. We found some more diamonds, though. We just need, like, one more patch. Maybe two more patches. Oh, my gosh. We're so close. We're going to have to give up. Maybe we just won't have the helmet. Okay. I got to put a cap on the time here. So, I will end stream no later than half after the hour. Which means I'm going to stop digging in exactly three minutes. Need a gold helmet. Okay, six minutes now. Okay, and there goes that. Okay, I'm out of torches anyway, so this is bad. I'll just do a, this bit of pokey holes, and then and then we're done. And then it is it is it is what it is. However many we got, we got. How many diamonds do we have in the chest? I have them all on me. This is it. Oh wait, no, I have two upstairs. Right, so I really only need three more. Okay, okay, I forgot about the two upstairs. Right. So I just need three more diamonds. Yeah, I'll leave the hat off. People need to see my they need to see my 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 pearly whites. Right. Yeah, I was gonna use those for an enchantment table, but that's alright. I think we did better like exploring for diamonds. 
with the uh, buried treasure and stuff. I felt like that was the better way to go. Need five more from the enchantment table. Yeah, but but I really want to have like the full set of of armor. I thought that was calcite for a second. I was like, what? There's a geode right here. Man, you guys got me in some hot water in that cave. Jeez, that could have been it. Could have been the end of the world right there, man. <sighs> now that I'm not placing torches, I feel like I'm going to turn around and there's going to be creepers in this tunnel. It was an adventure. Yeah, you guys like the adventure. <laughs> tunnel of dark. I know you guys can't see anything. Here we go. Light up the redstone. Then you can see. <laughs> Where the content? <laughs> Beautiful. I did get some diamonds, though. Not a lot. It wasn't like an extreme amount of diamonds. Would have. I definitely felt like it could have been more. Like we found the surface ones, and then it was just like onesie twosie. There was no patches. <laughs> Make some redstone torches. I'll just keep hitting that. Caves don't have patches. Yeah, that's the problem, right? It's those surface ones. Keep a torch in my offhand. Yeah, yeah, I have to go steal one. Then what happens when there is a creeper? I won't be ready for it. <laughs> There's going to be a creeper right there, and I won't have a shield. And I'm going to die. It's all your fault. Okay. I think time's almost up, people. Time's almost up. We gotta head back up. Always chat's fault. Yep. Always blame chat. When I when I die, it's chat's fault. <laughs> Look, I mean, there could be a creeper spawn right there. There's, the, it's bad. Just a few more blocks. Just a few more blocks. I know. There's so gonna be a mob spawn right there. So gonna be mob spawn. This is gonna be it. I'm gonna do these. That's it. Right there. Ah, that's that's it. Bummer. Bummer. All right. Well, we'll have an, we'll have enough to get at least the the boot, the pants, the shirt. Just uh, short the helmet is all. Man, we've, that was a lot of branch mining. Look at how much branch mining we did. This is not lucrative. Not recommended. I don't recommend branch mining in 118. That's my final, final answer. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Let's take whatever goodies we can. I got a potato. We could start a potato farm now. <laughs> so that's the thing. That's amazing. It is worth it? I don't know. 19 diamonds for what? We spent like an hour and a half. I don't know if that was worth it. Oh, geez. See, we should have just went down there. We should have just went down here. There's probably diamonds right here. We weren't brave enough to go down here before, but there's probably diamonds just chilling. Just chilling right here. Look at this. Oh, no. Little kid. Get out of here, little dude. Get out of here, little dude. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, whoo! Yeah, that's right, you die. I mean, we just gotta look, just, you know. We just gotta look. Just, 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 just a little pixie. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, bye. We'll come back later. That was uh, death from above. Is 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 what that was gonna be? Okay. Oh man, it's hard to get through that. Did you see that? That was that was asking for death right there. We're out. We're out. Let's go back up. What time is it? It's nighttime. We'll do a little sleepy sleep in our in our cubby hole up here. Right? This is our cubby hole. Whew. Man. And I got some can you dig it to get to. People being amazing. Holy smokes. We're going to get to it in a second here. Let me finish up 
uh finishing out this 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 episode oh puka i'm sorry this is this, this clip went an hour and 20 minutes i hope your editing stuff can handle that and there could be mobs up here could be could be could be could be there's not they're all down below oh man okay here we go put a bunch of this stuff away goody 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 goodies Pop, pop. okay haha -ha. all right let's get ourselves an upgrade here get rid of this iron i didn't get enough for a full suit but we can do a chest plate we can do some pants we can do some boots and we'll have to get a helmet next time i suppose but hey look at us we are looking a lot better now. I want to get some enchantments on it. That's going to be my goal next time, I think, is uh, we got enough diamonds left over to get an enchantment table. I need to uh, also, I guess I need to get a, a, a pickaxe so that I can get the rest of the obsidian needed for that. It'd be nice to get some enchantments going. Maybe we start messing around with some villagers and some villager breeding, but things are coming along. And let's check on our lava too. We've been down below for a while. We've got our infinite lava farm. Oh, yeah look at that it is coming along we got four free buckets of lava right there what an easy way to get an early game source of fuel that is fantastic and of course um yeah looks like we've got some escapes here at the cow farm um uh, you know they're all named dinner <laughs> don't run i guess i should have crit him to put him out of his misery we'll give that a better go here and crit yeah, it still takes two because I need a better sword at this point. All right, guys. There's sources of food, sources of fuel, and better gear. I would say that was not a bad day. And in fact, what day are we on? We finished day 28. We're currently on day 29. So we're coming along. Very nice. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, you know what to do. Hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I will see you guys again next time. Let's keep surviving. <laughs> see you next time, everyone. Okay. That was, uh, boop. Outro mode. Outro mode. We got some diamonds. That's not bad. Oh, I wanted a full suit so bad. I wanted a so full suit so bad. <laughs> All right. Before we do the raid. Thank you guys so much. I got way behind on all the all the amazingness. So there's a whole bunch of subs and resubs that came in. Uh, if you did during all that bit, thank you so much. Um, Flarfy, Flarpy Blunderguff. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. You're amazing. Appreciate that. Fessler with the 21. Hello, how you doing? Thank you for the 400 bits, Savian. I appreciate that. Again, thanks for all the subs and resubs, guys. This is a long list, and you guys are amazing. Lunar Cat, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. And the Broken Kind is here breaking me. Jeez, $50. Can you dig it? Thank you so much. We went into some extra innings today, but like I said, I could I could literally play this like eight hours straight at least. Um, maybe if I ever get some time, we'll, we'll extend the stream. Uh, or maybe add some in this week. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what I have time for, but yeah, I want to play more of this. I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going. I want to build up all the things. I'm having so much fun with this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Even though today we spent a good amount of time branch mining, which was never going to happen again. <laughs> Appreciate that. Broken Kind uh, says, hey there, Impulse. Love the Minecraft hardcore playthrough. Can't wait to see how far you make it. Here's a little something to show my appreciation for your content. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Uh, Jagged Coconut, thanks for five months. Bearded Bison, thank you for the prime sub. Let's get a raid going. I gotta go eat. I'm actually, I just felt it. I just felt it hit me. Like, I'm hungry. Hungry. Um, let's raid False Symmetry. She's playing some Minecraft. Let's do that. It's been a while since I've been able to raid False. Usually our, our streams don't line up, and this one's gonna line up. So, yeah. We'll see what False is up to doing some, doing some Minecraft. I don't even know what she's up to these days. But yeah, we'll send you on over to false. We'll give her some love, fellow hermit. It's always good to pass the love. So thanks guys for hanging out. Uh, hope to see you again tomorrow afternoon for some Naked and Scared. I will update my twitch.tv slash impulse slash schedule page to have my schedule for streaming this week in the next couple hours so you can check that and uh, see what I'm up to. But Wednesday's create mod, Thursday, hopefully a jet stream. Friday is back to this. Saturday, <laughs> Mario Kart. It's a fun week. Be ready. Uh, Brassy Chassis, thanks for the $10. Appreciate that. Empty banana name name one of the cow uh, one of the moo cows snack. There you go. Instead of dinner, I'll do that. 
<laughs> well, I gotta get some name tags. All right, let's go on over to False Guys. You guys are amazing. Thanks again, Brassy. Appreciate that. See you guys later. Have a good one.